We were doing an audio check, quick check.
Hello. Good morning. Um, I'm live a bit earlier today because I have a lot of cookies to decorate. Um, as you can see, slightly different overlay. We're on full again. I can hear this. <laughs> hi, Cloaky. Welcome in. We had a lot of people that just started Sue Screen. Thank you guys. I appreciate that. Thank you for saying hi. Okay, so today the plan is simple. We are decorating cookies. I think I have like. I think I have like two dozen that I gotta get through. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's a it's a dozen and a half. I think I got 16. I thought it was a new wallpaper. <laughs> Your day's still a painful birthday. Oh damn, I'm sorry to hear that. Hopefully. What day will that be? It'll be like Thursday, so you can hang out and chill. Okay. Um, spooky season, not really. I mean, did it Starbucks? <gasps> what the? Thank you for a gifted Mac, you crazy. Thank you, man, I appreciate that. You're gonna get your name written in the journal. Oh, it's because you're turning 23? Well, I'm 23, so it's a bad if is 23 a bad age? <laughs> uh oh. Awkward. But thank you, Mac. I appreciate that. Are you on the leaderboard now? Holy shit, Mac's number two. <laughs> 23 piece I two snicker. What's so bad about being 23? I mean, is it what, two years till you can rent a car? It's almost mid 20s. Fuck off. <laughs> Hi, Crystal. Welcome in. Anyway. I got about a dozen and a half cookies you had to decorate. And the reason why we're doing cookies, I think I told chat I wanted to do it like once a month. So this is going to be our once a month cookie decorating stream. Um, it's also because like, I don't want to go into too much detail, but like our family were going through shit. So my sister really wanted cookies. So, you know, I'm going to be a good sister and we're going to decorate cookies for her. Um, you're sad you missed last stream? Don't worry about it, hun. It's okay. You know, VODs will be up. And I think that Cooking Mama stream we will make into like a highlight video. So, don't worry about it. There were some good jokes and bits in it though. So, definitely watch back that VOD. Okay. So, I think I want to do kind of similar cookies to last time. Where we're just going to do like a super hyper detail pattern with, um, what you call it? With the sprinkles? Also, um, I'm listening to my own music in my headsets. You guys are listening to Nintendo music right now. Or I guess it's Sonic. But audio should be fine. Um, I'm gonna... <laughs> we have a timer here. Because <laughs> we're speed running today. Because I did a TikTok live after we did the last month's cookie stream. And I got a cookie done every 15 minutes. But when I did it on my Twitch stream, it took me like 40 minutes per cookie. So, you know... I'm speedrunning today. Let's get our timer started for cookie number one. Okay. This is started. Is it bad that I'm listening to another stream right now? I'm listening to S Fan stream. Okay, lines are. Oh my god, lines are actually horrible. Actually, really bad. But you know what else I'm super excited for? I'm super excited for Cutie Cinderella's um, shit camp event because that's starting tonight. I'm genuinely so excited. Last year's event was crazy. Okay, I'm definitely going to have to go back and adjust with a toothpick. <laughs> it looks so messy. You're rusty. Yeah, it's been a month, guys. It's been a month. Uh, okay, so chatters, if you're new here. Or, um, just like Margaret, shut up, hacker. I'm <laughs> rusty. Is that what you mean? Just rusty Margaret? Kind of rude, not gonna lie. Anyway, if you're new to stream or if you don't come and stream often, uh, similar to like art streams, I'm gonna like genuinely focus on what I'm doing. So, chatters, feel free and like talk amongst yourselves or ask me questions. Don't feel like I'm ignoring you guys. I'm just trying to uh, speed run these 16 cookies, okay? <laughs> Terrible lines. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, dude, dude. Anyway, you guys know the deal with subscriber-only streams. VOD will be deleted. 
but it will be posted on my YouTube VOD channel in a few weeks. So, gotta watch while it's live, you know? Okay, the only thing I don't like about these cookies is that they're slightly more textured. Like, it's not as smooth as the last ones I got. I guess this is a bad batch. Oh, come on. Okay, two minutes for icing the first cookie. I think that's fine. For bad lines. I'm on mobile. Does anybody have the copy buster? I don't know. Maybe. Okay, let's... What color should I do first? I also have purple icing today. So we can need some purple cookies. I think I want to start off with pink. Okay, so right now I have white pearls, pink pearls, and then I'll use some of these. Hi, Lemon. Are we decorating cookies or cookies? Um, both. I have no money. Then why did you give the sub, Mac? I'ma smack you. The tires are freaking expensive. It's kind of a scam, not gonna lie. Oh, empty. Sag. Oh, also... I have a funnel today. That way I don't spill sprinkles. I'm also using like our little Asian portion bowls. <laughs> Thank you, Lemon. Paid $350 with insurance? Damn, you got scammed. Wait, is this gonna. F Sorry, I'm trying to see if these sprinkles will fit in the funnel. No. Okay, oh, I should put this in a small bowl. Then. Oh my god, this is crazy! But how's everybody doing today? I know I'm live on a holiday. I assume if you're in the stream, you don't have plans for the holiday either. But anybody gonna do anything later today? I know for me, we did a little bit of yard work this morning because, you know, it's Labor Day, so, you know, I had to contribute. To the household environment. You gonna wash your hair? Like at a salon or at home? I need to go to a salon again. But it's, the last time I went, it was like 200 bucks. Cause like, I need to get new product. Cause the product I got last time, I couldn't find it online. But I can't be spending another $200. <clears throat> oh, at home as well. Oh, okay, yeah. Cause I think you said you like wash your hair once a week or twice a week or something. See, I can't imagine doing that. Like, I genuinely can't. Okay, so last time we did cookies, I was talking about how the shape will kind of determine the design. So I think we're kind of staying with that theme to see where the designs take us. Like, it may seem like I'm randomly placing, but every single placement has some form of intent. Oh, shit. Uh, I dropped that one. Thank you guys for hanging out today. Because, like, I wasn't gonna do anything today. Because we don't- we're not too big on holidays. And we don't go camping or anything. Because my parents were gonna go on a weekend trip, but then they canceled. So, everybody's home today. Big Sag. So, Chatters, I- I'm not allowed to scream or yell today. <laughs> Well, 
I think for the actual haircut, it was like $50, but then I tipped her $50, and then I bought like nearly $100 in like hair products, so it's kind of my fault it was kind of expensive. You know, that was back when Megan had like money to spend when she was working, so she could afford to tip her hairstylist 50 bucks and not have to worry about it. But now, I can't be doing that shit. <laughs> oh my god. I regret spending money when I had it. I should have saved- I mean, I did save a lot, but I should have saved more, honestly. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, my mom, she's been going to the same hairstylist for years. Because she used to work at a Great Clips or something like that. And then her friend opened her own salon, so she works at, like, an independent place now. Because my mom gets a hair cut and dyed, like, every few months. Okay, this is looking pretty cute so far. Thoughts? Does it look good? Type 1? Okay, I'm gonna move this little forward. Guys, we're eight minutes in. I think we're just about halfway done. I wish I had more sprinkles. I when I went to the store, I was gonna buy some more. But then I was like, I should not. <laughs> Because I, I want, like, different shapes, you know? But I don't need to buy more because we don't use sprinkles often. You go every two months? Bruh. You crazy. I mean, you, I think your hair is, like, shoulder length, right? Right now I'm getting some of these white feathery looking ones. <clears throat> See, that, like, I like the idea of getting short hair, but I just think it'd be too hard to maintain. You know what I was thinking about last night? I was watching my K-dramas, and, like, you know how sometimes streamers will have, like, paid Amazon watch party streams? Like, they're sponsored to do it. Guys, what if I became famous enough to where I could do, like, a sponsored Korean drama watch-along? Wouldn't that go kind of crazy? Guys, I need to be famous so we can do watch parties, so that would be wild. That'd be such good content. I mean, we wouldn't be able to, like, watch it, because the way that watch parties work is, um... You have to, like have the streaming service yourself and then it'll just be me or the streamer on like full cam and then they have like the timestamp of the video as an overlay but I think that'd be fun because like we could do that now because I know people in their discord servers have like movie nights but I don't have a discord Lamau. Yeah, I know they have the Amazon Prime watch parties. I know that. I've watched a few of those. But I want to do a K-drama one. So, guys, I need to get clouded so I can reach out to, like, Rakuten Vicky and we can do a watch party. Oh, frick. So the icing is different than last time. It's the same brand, but it's a different flavor. But the icing is, like, not as liquidy as the other one. There we go. I <laughs> guess you gotta get a Discord. No! Discord cringe. I'll get a Discord when we hit, um, a thousand subs. Oilers, get on it. <laughs> oh my god, I was watching- what show would you watch? Okay. Nobody snitch. This is a sub-only stream, so nobody snitch. But... 
Um, there's been a lot more like queer media in Korean dramas, particularly like BL, which is fine. I know BL is not necessarily the best representation of like queer people, but dude, I am a sucker for any type of romance show. And now that like Vicky is having like web series where it's like based off of like BL like web comments and like some of them are pretty wholesome and sweet and cute. Those are my favorite to watch. Nobody snitch. Okay, nobody snitch. What does BL stand for? If you know, you know. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. <laughs> I love BL. Yeah, it's pretty poggy. -o. <laughs> Why are you booming me? BL? Ah! Stand for Shut up! Shut up! I'm like a. I like GL too, okay? I like GL too. But there's just like a lot more B big licks, no. Uh, if you would have switched out those letters, that could have looked very bad, Mac. Hi, <laughs> Cox. Hi, Cox. Uh, we're, we're doing a wholesome cookie decorating stream for holiday. BL and GL is awesome, yeah. But there's no like GL shows because. <laughs> I'm so brain dead right now. Shut up. Shut up. You know, I'm self-reporting. I'm being vulnerable. You- Mac, you- Mac. Uh, you generally don't know what BL is? Uh oh. I- I would say be wary. Be wary. Anyway, so I've been watching a lot of those shows Cause there's just like a lot of that genre on kid dramas now. I understand now. <laughs> okay. Anyway, nobody snitch. Nobody snitch on me, okay? Like I said, BL is not necessarily the best representation. But you know, I still love some shows. Money. BL money shed. Stop it. Stop it. They don't show that. Stop it. Okay, I think this is our first cookie done. Ain't that cute? Kind of off-centered, but still cute. Okay, let's put this over here. Very cute. Thank you. Okay, well that's the first cookie done in 14 minutes. Hey chatters, uh, type one if you'd buy this cookie. Type one. If anybody cheers a million bits, I will mail the cookie to you. you guys hear that? A million bits. <laughs> Dude, that'd go crazy. How long will I be streaming for? Until all the cookies are done. So hopefully, if I have 16 cookies, probably four hours if we do four every hour. I would steal the cookies. That's kind of rude, not gonna lie. That cookie is crazy looking. Yeah, it's very textured. But we're gonna have to work with it. Dude, it took me five seconds just to open the cap. Okay. No cap. On a stack. I'm gonna start from the center this time. Dude, is anybody else excited for the shit camp stream tonight? Does does any is anybody like a mainstream Twitch watcher? Cause I feel like a lot of people who watch smaller streams just watch smaller streamers. But does anybody watch any big guys? Chatters, who's your favorite big streamer? Okay, these big crevices are gonna be a problem.
Okay, my grip strength is diminishing. Guys, I'm weak as fuck. Sorry, I'm ignoring you guys. I'm just concentrating. Oh my god, my arm is fucked. Valkyrie? She's not a Twitch streamer, though. Those are amazing lines, I know, right? You're watching a DTA stream? Really? Oh, I was gonna say earlier. Mainly just you, LaBelle. Yeah. Is that rice or sprinkles? What? Sorry, I'm catching up on shit. It's obviously sprinkles, dumbass. <laughs> Why would I put rice on a cookie? I mean, I know there are, like, a lot of rice-based sweets. Okay, let's do blue next. They do look like rice. Oh, this one? This one? I can kind of see it. We got a time of hour speedrunning cookies today. Welcome in, Kobo. Anybody? Any OTK frogs in chat? Any OTK viewers? I can love OTK. That chest. OTK is pretty solid. I don't watch a lot of their stream content, but I watch a lot of their YouTube. But I like—I personally like more produced content. Like, in order for me to watch a stream, I have to like the personality a lot. Like, any <laughs> BL stuff. So we're not bringing that back. And rewind time. Okay, let's do blue next. That's what it's gonna do. Where'd my bowl go? Oh, I had it in here. Um. What was I gonna say? Oh, I was watching um, Bruce drop him off last night. Because I he streamed like all night, I think, last night. But he was playing COD. And I usually don't watch FPS. Because I think FPS gameplay is kind of boring. Unless they're like kind of good. But Bruce was playing with two other streamers, and they were like hype as fuck, and I was having so much fun watching them. Like, I'm usually not like a W streamer watcher, but they were genuinely so fun to watch last night. The urge to be on top of the leaderboard. Let me rub it in your face, Mac. Did you make the icing? No. I didn't even make the cookies either. <laughs> These are all store-bought. But you know, I think store-bought is fine. As long as it still looks good. <clears throat> I gotta wait till I get paid then you go- Oh wait, Mac, you said you're broke. Don't give me money. <laughs> Unless? <laughs> Unless? Ooh. I can't- I have these kind of gold pearls. Like, it looks like brown, but they're kind of gold. I think that'd go cute. Not Mac taking my number away. No, how many subs did you give last month, Mac? It's in my about section. I think it was like 19 or some shit. Actually crazy. Oh, I spilled. I spilled! Wait, should we do red, white, and blue because it's Labor Day? I think that'd be fitting. Let's do red, white, and blue because, you know, we're Americans. If you're not American in chat, get deported. <laughs> I'm kidding. I love immigrants. <laughs> Yes, do red and blue. I skipped ordering grandpa to give subs. I mean, we love that. Because honestly, ordering delivery is such a scam. Anytime I get like a craving or an urge to get delivery, I just open the app and I open. Because you know how like on certain apps you can um <laughs> like sort it by like cheapest option. I always look through the more expensive options. That way I kind of stop myself from ordering. Because like even Jack in the Bot's hamburgers are going for like nine, ten dollars. It's crazy. Yeah, delivery is expensive. Like, I love how it's making, like, food more accessible, but it's so expensive. It's 
kind of not worth. And like, once I'll be able to drive, it won't be a problem because I can just drive out and get food. Well, this is looking cool. Yeah, okay. I saw that offer with Grubhub where if you have, or if you have a student, like an Amazon student account, I think it is, which I have, you get a discount. I tried it. I ordered one thing from Grubhub and the restaurant was out of the items, which is totally fine. But I was on the phone with customer service for like nearly 40 minutes trying to get it figured out because, um... The operator was like, okay, they're out of this. Do you want this? And I was like, yeah. And then they called me back. They're like, oh, actually, they're out of that, too. And it's like, bruh. Bruh. And then they just canceled the order entirely without telling me or getting my permission. So I was like, fuck it. Screw Grubhub. And like, Grubhub, I think, because like, I've downloaded all of those third-party delivery services. And I think the cheapest has to be DoorDash. Because I compared it all the same restaurants and all the same prices. And I think DoorDash was the cheapest one. <clears throat> yeah, once your car is ready, you'll never get delivery. See, that's kind of how I want to go through it, too. Okay, sorry, I'm just double-checking my pattern work. How many food delivery apps exist? I think Uber, DoorDash, and Grubhub are like the most normy, but I know there's some like premium ones that I've seen that will like deliver from like more upscale restaurants, but still not worth. I can never imagine getting to a point in my life where I can go grocery shopping and not have to worry about the total cost of groceries. I genuinely can't imagine that world in modern America. Like, it, it's sad. Because, like, I've always lived with food insecurity. For the most part of my childhood, I got free or reduced lunch. And as an adult, I know, like, the economy is never near stable enough to where you could lose your job at any point, especially if it's not like related to essential infrastructure or like a government job. Like I'm not shilling. It's just like a genuine concern of mine. Cause I remember when we were younger, my dad, um, our grocery money would be his like veteran disability check. So a hundred dollars is what we had for groceries every month when we were younger. And there were probably times where my parents had to skip meals to make sure my sister and I could eat. And it's sad to think that's the reality for a lot of Americans. Anyway, not to get political. <laughs> budgeting is so much fun. I know, budgeting is fun. I like how is very structured and rigid. Like if I ever live on my own, I'd be the I'd be the budget guy. I'd be the guy managing expenses. Budgeting is stressful when you start running out of money for essentials. That yeah. That's that's a huge concern of mine. I genuinely don't understand why rent or mortgages are so high. It's insane to me. If you have an apartment complex with a hundred plus units, they are getting ten, wait, sorry, a hundred thousand every month. It does not cost a hundred thousand to maintain that complex. I can guarantee you that. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't and that's just a thousand a month. There's nearly nowhere in America where 
Our rent unit goes for a thousand. I would rather just rent a room at this point. Yeah, I mean, some of what some apartments are literally the size of a room. <laughs> so. Okay, wait, I need to figure out how I did this. Oh no, this one's crooked, this one's crooked. I think the only way to make money in America is if you're literally a landlord. Expensive in New York no matter where you live. Yep. Yep. I mean, isn't like Seattle another place where like cost of living is insanely high? Kansas prices are better but what's your hourly wage minimum I know for a lot of Midwestern states cost of living is a lot less but that's because you're there's less government resources there is less um, um, essential infrastructure that is maintained properly and well like your hourly wage minimum is lower when compared to other states. I'm not saying that it's bad that cost of living is low, it's just all relative. <clears throat> okay, this cookie is really crooked. <laughs> it's like genuinely, like everything's on this side. Okay, let's add a little bit of white. Oops, I did not mean to put that blue there. Okay, how long did the previous cookie take? 14 minutes? I'm still on pet. I'm still on pace. My goal is to get a cookie done every 15. remember my sister and I were um, gonna move out together like in very early 2020 like we literally went on an apartment tour in February of 2020 like right before COVID started popping off right like it was still present we were still concerned but it wasn't like a major concern at that point point. and the place we we're looking at was I think like 1600 so, if we would have moved out, we would have had to move back in. It would have been bad. BRB? Okay, we'll see you in a bit, Mac. <clears throat> Cost of living is low because I live in Kansas. Yeah, exactly. It's how a lot of Midwestern states are. That's why I, I freaking hate when the uh, shit libs will give crap to, like, the more democratic states because oh they have more income tax or oh everything costs more there well that's because we have more public resources for the actual people who live there you're gonna keep the stream open though hey yo up one viewer okay i think this one's good i know it's kind of crooked but that's kind of cool that kind of like triangle shape very cute. Okay, let's stop the timer. What's the- Oh shit, why'd I open that? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I- I- oh sh come on. Okay, sorry. I accidentally opened Twitch Studio and that would have literally bricked my computer. Okay, 16 minutes. Fuck you. What's the world record for cookie decorating? I don't think there is one. <laughs> I don't think there is one. 
Okay, let's do another one, guys. How many more we got? 14? Break. <laughs> 60 minutes. Yeah, I didn't PB. I didn't PB. Somebody has to keep track of, like, what's my best time. I think my best time was, like, 14.30. Let's just say you have the world record then. Yeah, guys, guys. Should we change the title to World Record Holder? Cookie decorating champ. Okay, let's get this timer going. But thank you guys for hanging out with me today. It's gonna be pretty chill. Okay, we're gonna ice this one perfectly. I'm gonna start from the outer edge. I think a problem is too, I'm working like far away. Meaning usually whenever I work, I have my face really close to whatever I'm working on. But I don't want to be in frame. Because that's cringe. Okay, lines aren't nearly perfect. I'm going to have to retouch at the end. But this part in the center is looking good. Okay, earlier I asked you guys who's your favorite big streamer, but who's your favorite small streamer, guys? And if you say me, you're being a simp and that's cringe. You have to say somebody else that's not me. Unless you literally don't watch anybody else, then that's when it's only allowed. Who's your favorite small streamer? You! Did you not just hear what I said? Fucking simp. <laughs> other than you guys, yeah, other than me. <laughs> Have I decorated cakes before? No, but I would love to. I see so many cake decorating videos on TikTok, and I'm like, dude, I want to try it. But you need, like, you don't, okay, you don't need, like, a lot of equipment for cake decorating, but I feel like a turner is essential. Okay, these lines were actually horrible. I think this is the best icing attempt we've had today, though. It's also because I cut the tip wrong on this icing. Like, my scissors weren't sharp enough. There's other streamers. Yeah, there's literally a million Zero Viewer Andes that say they're streamers, like me. I don't... It's weird. Because, like, I don't consider myself a streamer. Because, like, I don't think I'm nearly big enough to be a, a streamer. Like, I know, like, I see posts all the time, it's like, Oh, if you average three people, if you're an affiliate, you're in the top, like, 5% of Twitch. <laughs> oh my god, you're so cool. But it's like, I don't think you should call yourself a streamer until it's livable income. Because then at that point, it'd be a job, basically, right? Like, I'm not shitting on people who are trying to grind and stuff. I think it's just a weird title to give yourself if you're not there. You know what I mean? You've never been really into Twitch? Uh, really? Sorry, I'm, I'm, being, I'm being nosy. What time did you, when did you make your account? I've never been really into Twitch, says the guy who made their account in 2018. Bruh. Are you gaslighting me? I think I had an account... In, like, 2016, because I wanted to watch, like, an H3H3 H3 podcast, because that's when they did their podcast on Twitch. But then I lost the login. So, wait, let me see. When did I make my account? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> yeah, I made my account in October 21, 2020. So I was a pandemic frog. That's when I started watching Ludwig and stuff. Um, yeah, October 2020. So, like, uh, my account isn't that old but like i said i had an account but i lost the login i have literally no idea what my username was i think it wasn't peace in 17 because i was already taken okay let's use these fall colors do i have red pearls yes i do i think we'll do 
red and white. Shit. I dropped a container. I only supported a friend! Do they still stream? <laughs> Lamau. Okay, I'm gonna put these blue sprinkles away. Wait, why is it not going in the funnel? The funnel's not working. Dude, I got scammed. What the fuck? Okay, so funnel's actually a scam. Cause like, you know how funnels work? How it has the cone and then... What'd you call this? The pipe? The, this part is never big enough. This part is never big enough. Are they still streaming cage? Okay. Okay. So why didn't you see your friend was your favorite streamer? Kind of cringe. Guys, we got Snitch on Cool Bobo. <laughs> we are going to PB on the cookies. Oh my god, you're right, you're right. Dude, I'm five minutes in. I've gotten nothing done. We're not going to PB. We're not going to PB. Okay, we're gonna do red and white. Let's do a white in the center. These are stuck together. I like glue. So I know I asked you guys yesterday what story games you'd like to see on stream. So does anybody have any suggestions for what games you want to see that are like story games? Oh, you're just being nice? Oh. I see, I see. I mean, that's fine. I told myself. People who are, like, grinding for affiliate. Like, I've said this many times before, but it took me six months to get an average of three viewers. And that's fine. But I told my friends, do not lurk in my streams. Do not have my tab open. If you're gonna watch my stream, I want you to be fully engaged. Because I- it's very easy to get affiliate in the sense of like, people can just have it- have like... A tab open, and give you that one extra viewer. But I didn't want to get affiliate that way because... If you get affiliate, and nobody is genuinely engaging with your content... That's not gonna help you, that's not gonna help develop your commentary. Because it's very hard to stream with an inactive chat. Which is fine, that's how a lot of small streams go. But the reason why the quarry... I've already seen people play through the game, so I'm, I am I can't do the quarry. Because I get spoiled. Until dawn, that's another one. It's another one I can't do, because I've already played it. Or no, I haven't played it, I've already seen other people play it on stream. So I already know what happens. Um, try to think of like indie games, like indie Switch games. I think because those ones aren't as popular. Uh, anyway, going finishing my point. If you build your baseline audience, which is the audience you build when you're affiliate, and your chat is dead or your viewers aren't active, then it's going to be a lot harder to grow from that point. The reason why most of my chatters here are active is because everybody here didn't know me before they watched the stream. They found me from other platforms, they're not friends. As you guys can probably tell, there's not a lot of streamers in chat either. Because I chose that networking is not the best way to grow if you're this small. Because you want to try and build up your core audience whenever you're averaging below 50. I don't know, like, any Switch game? <laughs> Sounds about right. 
<laughs> yeah, okay. Well, that are indie. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your help. Turn boy commits tax evasion. That's, that's what I was looking at. I did play a little bit of... What's the game called? It's the grape one on stream. But that was when I had, like, one beer. So maybe we could come back to that one again. Yeah, this one's looking cute. Yeah, so anyway, TLDR, if you want to stream yourself, don't tell your friends to have a tab open. That's not going to help you. You're not going to have fun with a dead chat. Because I think it's very discouraging if I'm streaming and I have, let's say, for example, five viewers and I have a dead chat. I think that's very sad for me as the broadcaster. Not going to lie. That's why I encourage my chatters to chat, even if it's just emote spam. That way I know people are like here. Stardew Valley. We did do Stardew Valley um, about a year ago on stream. So maybe we can come back to that. But that's not really story driven. Guys, chat, you guys are literally throwing the ball. You guys are giving me uh, bad suggestions. You know what? I think I could literally just Google indie story games on Switch, and I'd get, like, an article that'd give me ten games. So, I think chat needs to get better at researching. No, I'm trolling. I'm trolling. I appreciate you guys. I do- Okay. I genuinely get worried whenever I goof and gaff or I troll. Like, I genuinely get concerned that I'm gonna, like, upset somebody one day. <laughs> We're trying our best. Cuphead? No. Cuphead is a sub-goal stream, and I'm literally going to lose my mind when I play that game. So I think Cuphead is... Is that even in the command? Oh, no. Uh, Cuphead is, I think, like... Because I adjusted all of our long-term sub-goals, because we did fall off. We're at 66 subs. I adjusted all the subs to go down by 30. So. <laughs> Beside do wants her viewers to stop watching so she trolls a lot. No, that's not what I want at all. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Overcooked. That's that's a game I've been wanting to play, but is that a single player game? Or is it only multiplayer? Because I think it'd be sad if I played that game by myself. Because I would like to collab with streamers, but I don't know who I can collab with. Because a thing that kind of scares me about collab streams is that you're interacting with their audience and they might know you or might not like you right away. And also, fandom culture is kind of crazy. Because I feel like streaming, people watch because they like you, the sole entertainer. That's why collab streams don't perform well, unless you have at least like three other guests. You can do single player for overcooked? Okay, I'll look into that. I think that'd have to be a one-off stream. Yeah, I'll look into that for sure. Yeah, this one's looking cute. I think the white and the red is a bit much. Looking back, I should have used like the more neutral red pearls. This looking very Christmassy. Anybody excited for Christmas? What is Cult of the Lamb? Um, it's a game where you grind up and essentially build your base, and it has a Twitch extension to where people can create a character and like be a part of your game. It's kind of cool. I think that's our goal for how many subs? 80 subs will do Cult of the Lamb. Minecraft story mode? No, I'm literally never playing Minecraft. Minecraft, the fandom is toxic and bad. You wanna make Christmas cookies? I mean, go for it, dude. It's never too early. I keep getting recommended on my TikTok, like these cooking videos where they make like Halloween themed goodies, 
and they will post a video I think every day or I don't know because they just come up on my for you page I don't follow or anything but it'll be like 200 days till Halloween it'll have like a pumpkin themed cookie or something I dread the holiday season it's like light nightmare yeah I agree I don't like holiday time either okay this cookie is done It's because... Anyway, let's get a close-up. I think this one's good. I think the red is a bit much. I should have used, like, a more neutral, like, this lighter shade of red. But too late. I still think it's cute. That's your favorite one? Yeah, I think this one looks the best. I like... I personally really like the shape of the ghost sprinkles because they look kind of feathery, don't they? Anyway, I think the reason why I don't like holidays as much is because... I don't have a lot of family in state, so I would see like all my friends, all my classmates travel for holiday, and you see them post pictures with like their grandparents or their aunts and uncles, but they can never afford to travel because everybody lives in Hawaii, so one way is $600, and no way we could fly out four people every year. So it's not often that I get to see my family outside of my immediate. Which is fine. I'm putting these cookies into a container. Which is fine. It's just how it is, you know? But it's still not like a super positive time for that reason. And like also like how just American culture kind of forces you to like want to buy 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 during holiday like my neighbors they decorate their house super crazy for halloween and they spend like a hundred to two hundred on decorations every year which you know props to them they got money to spend but it's just weird how it's normalized to spend the exorbitant amount of money for something that's only going to be up for like two weeks Okay, next cookie started. I love the holiday cats and cats. Yeah, they're pretty funny. They are pretty good. That's why I kind of don't want to move out of state. See, like, I feel like if I grew up outside of Washington, I wouldn't move out. Or, like, if I were to move out, I would move to Washington. Like, I think Washington, not biased, but I think Washington is the best state overall. Okay, I'm speed running. Any Washington viewers in chat? You know what I saw? There was a Twitch meetup in Seattle. And apparently the way those meetups work is that you join a Discord server and then they plan meet like meetups at restaurants and stuff for like Twitch viewers. And there was one in Seattle. And I had no idea. And it was on September 1st. I was like, fuck, should I cancel stream? But I was like, I assume they just rented out, like, a 50-person room at a restaurant. So it's probably just, like, 50 weirdos. <laughs> so I think if Twitch does another meet-and-greet event like that, I will go. Gotta go. Okay. We'll see you later, Crystal. Thank you for hanging out. Hope you have a good one. Enjoy your holiday. Okay, I think this is the best cookie so far. I think this one is pretty solid. Hey yo. Okay, what color should I do this time? I think I'll use some of these browns. Because this has like oranges, browns, and like goldenrod. Or maybe we'll do orange. We'll do orange. What is my stance on oatmeal raisin? They're fine. They're fine. Not the best, but they're fine. My mom, she bought a box of iced oatmeal raisin cookies like two months ago, and she hasn't opened them yet. 
Probably because they're bad. <gasps> oh no. Oh, oh no. I messed up. I messed up. Oh, shit. But, like, if I had a choice of cookies, oatmeal raisin would not be my first choice, honestly. Meetups sound fun, although the only person you I watch is you. Yeah, that's why I was like... I, I saw the event, because, like, the Twitch account, like, the main Twitch account on Twitter reposted that, oh, there's gonna be a meetup in Seattle on September 1st. But then... The reason why I didn't, like, go last minute is because who would go to that? Like, it's probably gonna be, like, the big Twitch heads, like me. Like, I don't, it's it was a meetup for, like, viewers, not actual streamers. Like, it, it was just a meetup for people who like to watch Twitch, not actual creators. That's why I was kind of concerned. No prediction if you mess up a cookie? You know what I was gonna do today? I was gonna do, if I get a gifted sub, I will, like, smash the cookie. Should we do that? <laughs> or if we get a new hashtag sub for free with primer. Wait! Talking about ads! Guys, we're an hour into stream. So, if we have any non-sub plebs watching, and you want to chat, and you want to, like, enjoy the stream to the fullest, all you gotta do is subscribe. Um, subscribe for $4.99, $5, or... Exclusively for the month of September, it's September, guys. So it's 20% off all new tier one. So if you've been wanting to subscribe, go subscribe now, guys. You get a discount and you get to watch in the full list of sub only stream. Anyway, get some water, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. Not cookie smash, but wouldn't that be funny? I think that'd be a. Oh, what the fuck? Is my mic fucking up? Anyway, I think that'd be. Like a good TikTok lives concept. Because I feel like a TikTok stream needs to have some level of like stakes or excitement to it. But we're not doing that steak today because my sister really wanted these cookies, so I can't afford to smash any. You're not gonna piss her off today. Ooh, these golden pearls are so pretty. Why would there be a meetup of people who just watch Twitch? I mean, like, what would you talk about? <laughs> You're like, I watch XQC every day. I love Gamba. <laughs> like, what What would you do? I assume the meetup would be for, like, max two hours. Like, the only thing else I could think of is probably just gonna be, like, affiliates like me going there to, like, quote-unquote network. So it's like... I assume the next Seattle one is not going to be for another year, but I don't know, it just seemed kind of weird. Because, like, I enjoy Twitch, I like it, but I'm not too into Twitch. Like, I don't go on Reddit, I'm not into fandom culture, like, I just watch the stream and then I dip. Like, the most I'll do is, like, I'll follow, like, a streamer's, like, Instagram or Twitter. But I'm not too into any fandom, because I think fandom culture is inherently toxic and, like, overbearing. <laughs> Nobody even watches the same streamers, yeah. The thing with, like, streaming, too, is... I feel like every viewer has... Uh... What? Okay, that, that's a weird joke. Don't make jokes like that, Pride. Very weird. Um, anyway. I think the thing with streaming and, like, people who watch streams, everybody has their ideal, they have their favorite streamer. And they don't really watch other people. 
Like, I know for me, it takes a while to enjoy watching somebody new. Sorry, it's okay. It was just weird. <laughs> like, just don't be weird. <laughs> I'm not mad. It's just like, okay. Do you only watch 36 streamers? Yeah, I follow a lot of people. Like, I follow a lot of big guys, but I don't watch a lot of streams. And, like, a lot of streams that I don't watch, I'll watch, like, their YouTube content. That's why I think, like, YouTube pilot videos are important if you want to grow. YouTube is a mermaid thing? Yeah, me too. Like, I've come to find that I watch a lot more Twitch. Like, if I'm bored, like, I'll open Twitch and see who's live. But if nobody's live that I like watching, then I go back to YouTube. You got Twitch after finding my TikTok? Really? That's actually pretty cool. That's pretty poggy. I've had a few people say that they started watching Twitch or made an account after finding my TikTok, which I think is very good. It's not very common that your followers do that because it's very difficult to even get... Like, for example, when I say, hey chat, if you could politely go follow my Twitter or my Instagram, guys, go follow. Not a lot of people do that. A few do, but not everybody does. So, just to have the thought that people will come to Twitch from another platform is really good. It's really good. So generally, thank to everybody who came over from other platforms. It's really cool. <clears throat> okay, let's see. I'm trying to think of what pattern I can do next. You don't have IG? Keep it that way. IG is kind of toxic. <laughs> More for like your self-image. Like I didn't have any social media until I was a senior in high school. I didn't even have a Facebook until then either. Because I was mature enough when I was in high school to understand that potentially having the attention of hundreds of people online is not good for my mental. Like, even now I'm kind of struggling with it. Like, I, I feel like there's a pressure for me to behave in the sense of, like, whatever I'm doing online is a good thing. And, like, setting a good example. But I don't think I could handle that if I was, like, a teenager. Like I said, even now I kind of struggle with it. Like, that's why I do, like, censor myself with jokes. That's why I want to try and create, like, as safe of an environment here on Twitch or my other platforms. Especially with online culture. Everything is permanent. Meaning, if I say something online, even if I delete it, even if I try and, like, claim that footage, people can still have it. But... Oh, sorry, I hit my water ball. Yeah, I think it takes um, people a lot of courage to type in a Twitch chat. So thank you to all the chatters. I know we have a lot of lurkers because I'll have sometimes people be like, Oh, I've been lurking for a bit and now I'm chatting. It's like, cool. So don't ever feel scared to chat. Don't ever feel scared to watch. It's totally fine. I want to make sure people are comfortable and enjoying the stream however they want to. Yeah, we heckin' love the lurkers. Parasocially, of course. I know, like, I've seen a few clips of streamers, like, calling out lurkers and saying they're not as cool or not as good or important as the chatters, but it's like... Lurkers are typically like 90% of your viewer base. 
Because not everybody wants to chat. Some people just want to vibe and enjoy it or like listen in the background. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes you don't know what to say in a chat. Like, especially going into like an established stream in the sense of like, you know that the chat has their own jokes. You know, everybody, individual chatters have a specific relationship with each other or like the streamer. Like, it's very like daunting to chat for the first time. So guys, don't ever feel scared. Everybody's nice, except when chat piece I2 punches the people when they say hi. That's kind of cringe. I was watching back like part of yesterday's stream and when I was like, guys, if you could like just type hi YouTube in chat. We had, we had people be like, hi YouTube and then spam piece I2 punch after. Like, it's fine. It's fine. But it's just like, guys, come on. <laughs> like the punching meta is funny. But for people who don't watch the stream regularly, or if they're like a first time chatter or viewer, they'll be like, Huh? It's fun? Yes, I know punching is fun, but it's kind of weird, okay? They don't- they don't know- th that's a joke that people don't get, okay? We won't punch you if you tell. You know what? Okay. You know what I'll do one day? One day, I'm gonna fake, get really mad, about the PSA2 punch meta, and then I'll, on the stream, I will... Oh! You- Hey, Potato! Okay, I'll give you that gifted right now. Hi, hun. Did your gifted expire? Sag. Okay, wait. Hold. I need to gift on my alt, so it's gonna take like a minute. It's gonna take a minute. Uh, what was I gonna say? Like I said, the PSA2 punch meta is an inside joke, so people don't get it. <laughs> they were like, huh? Yeah, 15k. The reason why a gifted sub is 15k is because that's about how long it takes. A month is about how long it takes to get 15k. Okay. Hold. Hold. Potato, keep holding. Keep holding. <laughs> Oh no, my laptop doesn't have internet! Shit. Okay, it's loading. It's loading. I don't know if Potato can even hear. <laughs> what does VIP do? Um, you get a badge next to your name. And then... You get to send links in chat. And you look cool. Okay, potato, keep holding, keep holding, keep holding. I have to pull up your name. Come on, it's processing. If you say to scam, it'll take 10 years. That's the joke. That's the joke. And there we go. There we go. Enjoy your gifted sub, hon. Now you can chat. <laughs> but thank you for your patience. Thank you once again for redeeming. Bye, you. I'm here. Hi, welcome in, Potato. <laughs> thank, thank you. I'm sorry it took a bit. I had to do it on my other laptop. But thank you for redeeming. Enjoy your gifted subs. I haven't been here. Well, that's not a problem. You know, school started, summer's ending. So it's no biggie. But I hope you're having a good day. Bro, what the fuck? My mom, she just texted me a picture of... Like, on, on a window, there's, like, pictures. I assume she went by, like, a, a rental office. And it has, like, houses for sale or rent in, like, my city and the surrounding city. And she's like, hey, she sent it to my sister and myself. Is she gonna kick us out? Huh? <laughs> anyway bro what the, why would she send me that what the fuck 
<laughs> we definitely lost a cookie decorating PB. I know. We got distracted. But, you know, Potato got that gifted sub. So I think it's totally worth it. It's fine if we mess up a PB for that. Huh. Okay, back to work. Dude, why would my mom send me that? Like, genuinely. Because I told her, me and my sister want to move out in, like, a, in six months. Not fucking now. What the fuck? Anyway. Back to work. No more distractions. Hmm. I'm trying to think what else I can add. Ma no, I, I don't think I should add white. Maybe red? Maybe red? Okay, the red might be a... I should do brown. Actually, brown would look a lot better. <laughs> I got kicked out live on stream. Shut up. That was literally going to be my title for the unpacking stream. That was literally going to be the title. So nobody snitch, nobody snitch. But my title for the Friday stream is going to be like... I got kicked out, sad face. That was literally going to be the title. Also, Chatters, is my mic fucking up? Because I, I look at it and it goes to like... It cuts out for a second. Is it fucking up? Will you just throw it? You stream in the kitchen? Yeah, I'll be. I told her about the Cooking Mama stream idea and she loves it. She's like, that'd be cute. And I'm like, I know, right? I mean, she wouldn't be on stream. Because she doesn't want to ever be on camera. Um, but she would. She said she might help me film. It sounds okay. Okay, because like... Maybe it's because I have the mic close to me. So maybe that's it. So like it might be like picking up popping or something because I'm too close. But thank you, Lemon. Uh, what was I gonna say? Because I was telling my sister she should get into cosplay because she's really cute. Okay, she's cute. She's like a million times cuter than me, okay? And she's short like me, but her body type is like per she's her body type is literally perfect for cosplay. Like, literally perfect. But she doesn't want to be online. But I'm like, dude, you could literally pop off. And like, she, she's artsy, but she doesn't know how to sew. Anyway. Love a supportive sister. Yeah, she's pretty cool. Should I add anything else? I think this shape is pretty solid. Hmm. I think I want to add one final pearl here. Like, right here to add, like, a point. You know how I said my mom said in a group chat that my sister, her, and I have pictures of like houses for rent and apartments for rent? My sister said, that's nice. <laughs> Dude, and okay, let me read off the rental prices. One bedroom, sixteen hundred. Two bedroom house, twenty seven hundred. Three bedroom house. 2800 Okay, that's actually pretty good for a three-bed. But still, 2800 Insane. Three-bedroom, 2200 And then two-bedroom, 1450 That's still crazy. It's still crazy. What? Does my mom think we're fucking rich? Me, no job, have an ass? What the fuck? Anyway. Dude, it's so expensive to rent in Washington. It's insane. Anyway, I think this cookie's done. Let's stop the timer. It's cute. I think majority of the cookies will have this kind of like flower type design. I think I want to try and do something different for the next one. Okay, it's another one done. 
We are four cookies in, hour 20 into the stream, on track. About 15 minutes per cookie, pretty solid. <clears throat> Chatters, which has been your favorite cookie so far? I think this orange one is really good. But also this white and red one is pretty solid too. This is another crevicey one, I don't like that. Should I call the store back and complain? <laughs> Should I go full of Karen? And be like, your cookies were not smooth enough? I need a refund on these $3 cookies. How did you do this? Both your pop up pizzeria and cooking mama jobs. Um, I was too good and everybody else was intimidated by me. The red, white, and blue one. Yeah, that triangle design was actually pretty cool. I mean, my parents did tell me if my sister and I move out, they're going to sell the house and, like, move out somewhere else. So maybe they're just trying to get my sister and I to, like, move out right now so they can, like, retire. <laughs> maybe that's it. I don't know. We'll see, I guess. Here we go. Would you guys get any pets? Oh my god, yes. Yes, I want a cat so bad. You guys do not understand how badly I want a cat. Because, like, don't animals make you happy? Maybe that's why I'm just not happy. <laughs> I'm kidding, chat. I'm fine. I'm fine. But anytime I go to a friend's house, the cat would, their cats would immediately love me. I think, like, I'm a secret cat whisperer. Like, my mom, she said when she retires, she wants to get a dog. But I feel like dogs are a bit much. They're also kind of hard to take care of. Like, they need so much attention. But like a cat, you gotta feed them, change out their litter box, give them, like, a little bit of attention. They're not too needy. Thus, then you're set. The only thing, I think I'm somewhat allergic to cats. Like, anytime I did go to a friend's house and they had a cat, like, my nose would get all fucked up. But I think, aren't, aren't, aren't people more so allergic to, like, their urine than the actual fur? I, I've read something like that. And the cat would buggy ball stir you, but wouldn't that be cute? Guys, if I had a cat, we'd have 24-hour cat cam. Handshakes? Can I get a cat chat? Do you guys want a cat cam? I'm gonna do green on this one. Green and white. But I love how, like, all the cats that I've seen, they just wanna cuddle. And that's my favorite. Like, I had a few sleepovers at friend's house, and, like, the cat would always sleep with me. And I loved it so much. Just a whole stream of playing with that. But wouldn't that be kind of a fun concept where, like, I buy cat toys and I see what it likes the most? Wouldn't that be kind of fun? Because I was watching um, NMP LOL. And that's kind of what they did today. Like, they were reviewing, like, dog toys. And it was, it was a fun stream to watch. 
Because they had like a GoPro attached to their dog's heads. <laughs> so it was, it was good. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to get a new ring light, because this one will not stop flickering. I mean, you guys can't see it on cam. I don't think. Not really. Cats are better than dogs? I agree. I... I saw this one take that was basically, if you like dogs more than cats, then that just means you like people who undeniably love you. Because, like, with cats, you kind of have to earn their love and respect. Like, they're not going to instantly gravitate towards you, typically. Unless you're a cat whisperer like me. She's secretly a cat girl. I mean, I'm not on cam, so I might be wearing cat ears. I don't know. Maybe. Dude, I would never, literally never do gimmicky shit like that on stream. Like, I don't mind when people have, like, channel play redemptions where it's like, Oh, I'll put a costume on, or, oh, I'll put cat ears on, or I will say, you w u. But it's just kind of like, uh, it just feels weird. <laughs> It's like you're intentionally farming the simps a little bit too much. And, you know, I don't want coomers in my chat. I want people who respect me. And, like, wholesomely simp, you know? <laughs> Dogs are too much work and I'm lazy. I mean, I'm not gonna say that, but I agree. I agree. Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up. There we go. Saved. Okay, chatters, what do you think about today's stream so far? We are an hour and a half in. I'm like a third of the way done with cookies. What do you guys think so far? Because like I said, I want to try and find some way to like make art streams more engaging, but I don't know what to do. Nice chill stream. E. It's not that I want to make it, like, crazy. But... I don't get a lot of, like, unique viewers or new chatters on art streams. I want to figure out, like, how do I get that to happen? Because, like, I feel like art streams are for the regulars. You like art streams? That's good. It's great. I'm glad we got... Some regulars like in our streams. <laughs> That's what reeled you in, no way well, you're trolling. What was actually the first stream you were in, Cokes? I wonder if I can see. Man, it's wild, because some chatters... When I open logs, it'll say like 900 plus messages. Kind of crazy. I mean, if people are here like every day or every stream, like it's obviously going to build up. But it's still crazy to think that some people chat that much. And I think, Cokes, you've been watching for about a month-ish, I think. For like a month and a half. Portrait stream? Really? You started watching on a portrait stream? That's crazy. Actually, an art frog. Okay, I'm looking at logs from August 1st. Oh my 
god, I found your first message. It's so sweet. Your, your first message in chat, August 1st, Cooks, is hey everyone, I hope you get well soon, Nyx. Aww. Like, you didn't even introduce yourself. You're like, oh, get well soon, chatter. Oh, that's so cute. Dude, we got a wholesome chat. Yeah, August 1st was an art stream. Damn. Damn. You guys ever see, like, the unban appeal streams that people do? Where people will go through chatters who got banned? Because if you get banned, I'm not telling you chatters to get banned intentionally because getting banned is really bad. But they'll go through your logs and see if you said sus things. Like, I love the unban appeal streams. I think they're so funny. I think I've only had to um, ban a few people. Like, I don't think I've ever banned anybody during a live. Unless they have, like, an inappropriate username. Then it's obviously, like, easy clap. I'd clap them right away. But I haven't had anybody, like, misbehave in the chat. So, that's cool. But d don't try. Don't try me. Don't try and get timed out or banned. I, re I will remember that. You started chatting in the art room? Yeah, you did, Kobobo. Should, should we do art more? Thoughts? <laughs> I definitely think that art streams are easier for me to do. Because gaming is fun, but it's hard for me to like be fully concentrated the whole time. But with art streams, I feel like I can fully focus on this and make something that I like. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> nah, chatters, don't get banned. Getting banned is cringe. Yeah, the only people I've banned are people I've cross banned from other channels. So, like, if somebody, like, says something bad or, like, really expletive in somebody's chat that I know I'll ban them here because I just love the idea of someone being pre-banned that way when they open my stream they just see their in like they're just they can't see chat at all I think that's so funny I was talking about more about more art streams sure gobium Anyways, I think this cookie is done, guys. I think this is a new PB. 13 minutes and 9 seconds? That was a pretty good run. I don't want to add too much to this one, because I think... I like how it's more white than green. But I think this one's cute. There we go. You're right. With gaming, there is a lot more viewers, more active chatters, because the thing with gaming content, and the reason why gaming content is so successful on most any platform... Is because people like the game. So even if they don't like your commentary or personality as much, they will still watch you play the game if they like the game. Yeah, new world record! Exactly. So it's like... Gaming is good for people to find your content. That's why I think like art is a bit more niche. Like, if you look in the art section, I know I'm in just chatting, but if you look in the art switch section, there's usually not a lot of people who are mainstream that do art. I think that's because Twitch as a platform, viewers don't come to it to watch art content. Like, I feel like that's still more like a YouTube thing. It's 
And also, like, art streams don't have nearly enough chat engagement. I think that's why they don't perform as well for any channel, typically. Like, I know 39 DAC will have, like, thousands of people watching her do art, but that's because they like her personality. And also, she's been an established streamer for years now. Like, she's definitely an outlier. But for, like, a Humegawa like me, I would not be able to grow doing art. Like, full-time. Like, if I just stopped gaming and did art the time all the time, I don't think a lot of people would stay. It's the harsh truth, but it's true. And that's fine. I, I've said it before, but I want... Like, my main goal in life is to pursue, like, an art-related career. And if I can build an established audience through Twitch, that way I can pursue my art in the future. I think that's the best path. Dude, I had nearly perfect lines and then I messed up. This one is going to be a perfect run and it's a fairly smooth cookie. Dude, I'm actually throwing. Actually throwing. You think doing the five sub portrait thing is nice? Yes. I agree. I think it's a good concept. In the sense of one, it encourages gifted subs, pog you. I easy win. And it also rewards the people who do gift that amount every month. I mean it does incentivize people to do it, because I think <laughs> I think we had Kobobo gift five that stream. For the stream right before, and then Coke's gift a total of five. So it does intend to buy some people the gift, which is cool. That's the intent. But I want to make sure people who do support to that degree get something in return, you know? Hey, what color should I do next? Hmm. I don't have a lot of colors. We can do butterflies. I got yellow butterflies in here. <laughs> I impulsively did it and do not regret it. The first time I read that in my head, I thought you said you regret it. And I was like, damn. Big sedge. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we'll keep doing the monthly portrait cards until Chad gets tired of it. But I think people like it. So I think we're in the clear. And I think it's cool to make things that is related to the actual viewers. Like, I would love to do a stream where we do, like, caricatures of people. To where people- <gasps> Oh, I, I, I had my hand in here. I thought I smudged it. Okay, but it's fine. We're fine. It, the icing set in time. But, um... I would love to have a stream where I did caricature, caricature so people could, like, submit pictures and stuff. I think that'd be fun. I've never watched a Mario Kart stream, but I watched the Mario Kart TikToks. Okay. Do you know the reason why the TikTok does well? It's not because it's gaming content. Because I think... I know TikTok is trying to establish itself as, like, having gaming content. But the... Oh, shit. The reason why people like the clips is because it's not gameplay focused. It's focused about my commentary, what I'm saying. Right? That's why we have a lot of crossover from TikTok, because that's the platform where people hear what I have to say. 
I kind of want to adjust the ISO a little bit. There we go. It's a little bit better. Because I typically won't clip like super hyped gaming moments. Because I can't guarantee a hype moment every stream. <laughs> Because the whole point with this stream is that people watch because they like you, not the game typically. Like your established audience. Like we have chatters coming here every stream. No matter what I play or no matter what I do. Just because they like me or like what I do. And I think that's important to emulate in whatever offline content I do. Like, uh, like I was explaining yesterday when we were watching the YouTube video, I want the YouTube video to be as similar to a stream as it can be, but with some edits. Because my goal is to bring everybody over to Twitch, because Twitch is the current platform where I have the best sense of monetization, i.e. subs and bits. So, I want to make sure my offline content emulates that. Okay, this is going to be an interesting shape. The way these butterflies are placed. Have I played Mario Galaxy? Um, no, but that's on our list of games to play. So, I think uh, after SMU Deluxe, we're going to do Mario Galaxy. I do want to play Mario Odyssey again on stream at some point. But that'll probably be after Galaxy. I'm trying to think of what I can add now. Oh, you like it more than Odyssey because of nostalgia? Okay. That's valid. I have a lot of nostalgia with SME Deluxe because my first Mario game was Super Mario Brothers on the Wii. So the game mechanics are very similar to it. That's why, like, I have a lot of fun playing it. Even if I'm not good at it, I still think it's really fun to play. But I definitely want to do Odyssey again. Because I remember when we first got it on the Switch, I watched my sister play it. Controversial, but I think it's a lot more fun to watch people play a game than actually play it yourself. Because, like, when I watch people play games... <laughs> I will like talk with them or like uh, I will commentate over them as they're playing the game sometimes and I think it's funny. Like sometimes my sister will have to be like, oh my god, shut the fuck up. I mean, she doesn't care, so she'd be like, shut up. <laughs> but 
but I think it's funny. Okay, I don't know what else I can really add to this one. Maybe some more pearls. Say to troll. <laughs> what would that emote look like? Oh, there was a stream where I paused and I was like, Peace to annoyed. And it was me like resting my head on my hands and like rolling my eyes. But I forgot what stream it was in, so I couldn't go back and clip it. <laughs> so sad. No Peace to emote. Or no piece I too annoyed about. Okay, I think this one's done. I think this one's done. I feel like the butterfly sprinkles are too big. That's why the design filled up really quickly. But guys, look, a new PB. 10 minutes. We're speed. We're actually speedrunning. Let's get a close up. I think this one's fine. Not my favorite. I think this one's my least favorite. It's too much white space. But guys, new PB. Troll face, maybe? Like, we get a picture of my face and then we just sort. Whoa! ISO is really fucked. Whoa! Oh, I hate that. I hate that. Hold. Okay, that's better. <laughs> Below 10 minutes next. I know. I mean, we actually could do that. If I try hard. Do we want to do a prediction to see if I can get a cookie done in other in under 10 minutes? We can do that. Let's actually do that. How long can I make a prediction? 30 minutes. Okay. So chatters, we have a prediction up. Do you think I can get a cookie done in under 10 minutes? It's up for 30 minutes, so I have two chances to basically get it. Guys, go Gamba, go Gamba. All the gambling frogs, all you XQC viewers. Go Gamba, do you think I'll get a cookie done in under 10 minutes? Okay. Let's start the timer. I think I can do this one. I'm going to actually speedrun. I'm going to ignore chat. So don't get mad. Go go, go home, cry that. I'm going to speedrun. Any doubters? Oh shit, I fucked up that line. <laughs> okay, that was pretty decent run. <laughs> if you make me lose. 669! I mean, good job, chatters. <laughs> Any doubters? Any doubters? I have nine minutes left. I think I could do it. Doubters mode check. Dude, this was almost a perfect icing. Okay, we're gonna do white. White is right.
I'm back. Hi, Mac. Welcome back. Guys, Mac is back. We do have a prediction up, Mac. Do you think I can get a cookie done in under 10 minutes? Predict. We have no doubters. We need some doubters. Oh shit. Fuck. Oh no, for sure. <laughs> Then why don't you doubt, you motherfucker? Put your money where your mouth is. Bitch. Yeah, I think this playlist is Pokemon. My favorite streamer just called me the B word. I've called you that so many times, Mac, and you're only complaining now. Kind of cringe. Kind of cringe. It's almost like you're gaslighting me. Yeah, I think this play. Let's see what the play. This compilation is called Two Hours of Peaceful Pokemon Music. Breaking news. PC in underscore 17 gets cancelled because she called her viewers bad names. <laughs> I'm trying to get the non-subs to sub. So you're drama farming. Let's just open the rule book. Rule number 421. No drama farming allowed. <laughs> okay, I need to actually speedrun. I'm halfway through my time. Oh my god, this, this sprinkle is stuck. <laughs> Joke's on you, I can't read. Mac can't read, they can't drive. Must be pretty sad, huh? When I say you can't drive, I'm referring to, like, Mac of two months ago, let's say. So Mac two months ago couldn't drive and couldn't raid. Got him. Let's be honest, Mac now can barely drive. I mean, I don't know. Didn't you barely pass the test? Yeah, I'm still scared to drive. Like, you know, I said, I'm, I think I have to go in and get my learning permit on Wednesday because I'm busy. Because I have doctor's appointments tomorrow and Thursday. So, I think the only day I'm going to be able to do it is Wednesday.
but even then, I do not want to practice with my dad's car. But I don't want to buy a car until I can drive, you know? Like, I think it's kind of DOM to have a car and not use it. And just let it sit and pay insurance. If you're not gonna... Excuse me, drive it. I gotta listen to the stream when I drive! Wish me luck, guys. Yeah, don't do that. Distracted driving is bad. And cringe. Okay, guys, I think I'm almost done with this cookie. I'm gonna PB right now. Last chance for Gambit. Does anybody think I'm gonna not get this done in two minutes? Anybody? No, but chatter, seriously, don't use your phone when you drive. That's illegal and dangerous. You could kill somebody or yourself. So don't do it. I just, I just want to walk everywhere, work out, and no gas me. I mean... I wish I could walk everywhere or take the bus. It's just like the bus routes don't run often enough. That's a problem. Okay, let's see. Can I add anything? Should we make the believer scared? Should I add some pearls? I don't think I need pearls on this one. Like, I genuinely th think this is pretty solid. Because I know my sister, she doesn't like the texture of the pearls. Like, it tastes like you're biting to... Um... Like a whole peppercorn. I think this one's done. I think this one's done, guys. I think this one's pretty solid. No pearls, but still really pretty. New PB, guys. Nine minutes. Finish. I think this one's done, though. I don't think there's any other shape I can really add. Like, I can only really add, like, small ones, but I don't have small pearls. Wait, I do have small pearls, but... Wait, I do have bitty baby pearls. Maybe I can add those. Maybe I can add those. Okay, well, I kind of fucked up the prediction. <laughs> I ended it preemptively when I didn't need to end it. So maybe we'll just do predictions for every single cookie instead. So, since we had no doubters that prediction anyway, I'll just delete the prediction and we'll do another one. Handshakes? Yeah, I'm getting more sprinkles out. I'm gonna add tiny, tiny warp pearls. Okay, let's get the- I'm gonna delete the prediction. We'll do another one next cookie. But else, you know what- Oh, fuck. You know what time it is, guys? We are two hours in the stream, so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. But, you can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Or, it's September, guys. Subs are 20% off. Pretty pog you. So- if you're a non-sub watching a sub-only stream on your free Twitch preview, what are you doing? Subscribe. Subscribe, guys. Come on. Then you can chat. You can hang out with us. So, you also can subscribe for free if you like your Amazon Prime to your Twitch. Do that as well. Anyway, get some water, get a snack. If you need it, we'll see some of you guys in a few. Oh, it's only noon. I, I keep on thinking it's 1pm because I started early today. Get screwed, non-subs. Okay, let's add pearls now. I like the bus, if only it didn't take forever to get where I need. Exactly. Exactly. Like, a 20-minute car ride going the same distance on the bus would take sometimes an hour depending on the routes. Like, it sucks sometimes. Okay, I'm fixing this ghost because it's kind of crooked. Oh, 
like, I'm going on a day trip this weekend, and I was looking at bus routes, and since the bus routes in my area, they either don't have certain buses running, or instead of going on, like, 30-minute rotations, it goes to an hour, it would take me literally, no joke, no joke, two hours to get, like, two towns away, and if I went by car, it would take me 20. I'm literally not joking. I'm not trolling. It's crazy. I love public transit. That's awful, yeah. It's because where we're going is like in between two counties' bus routes. So like, in one county there's like so many buses but in the county that we're trying to get to there's like no buses running I'm glad the train is here and stops in every town see like in my area though the train only operates on weekdays because it's a commuter train so it doesn't run on weekends at all except for amtrak but not every station has the amtrak going through it it's bullshit What's cool about my area is that if you have an ORCA card and you take a bus, like a transfer bus, sometimes you get like a discounted rate, like you get a dollar off. Or if you take a bus within a minute, or within, sorry, like an hour of your previous bus, then it counts as a transfer and you don't get charged. Actually, actually kind of crazy. But that's only for ORCA card holders. Okay, one more line of pearls, and then I think this one's done. Okay. I think this one is done, officially. I, I did three minutes, damn. Sag. Satch believers, this would have been a bad run. But this one's done. You added a few handful of pearls on the border. It does add a lot looking at it now. It does. Okay, I'm glad I added them then. But cool, another cookie done, guys. I am getting faster, though. I am getting faster. They charge you a student fare and the transfer fee? There's a transfer fee? I mean, I guess every system operates different, but I've never heard such a thing as a transfer fee. Okay, what color should I do this one? Let's do another blue one. Okay. So, we're gonna do a prediction. We'll do a prediction for every cookie. Oh shit, I opened a premiere. Wide open premiere. Why is premiere opening? Hold, chatters hold. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Sorry, Premiere. <laughs> because my taskbar where all my applications are right next to where I can tap in chat, right? <laughs> and I keep on opening shit by accident.
Okay, anyway, it's fine. It's fine. I exit it out in time before it caused everything to break. Okay, Chowder's Cook Gamba, do you think I will get this cookie done in under 10 minutes? Okay, I think it's fair if I prep my sprinkles. Well, actually, now that you got it, I only have blue sprinkles out, so I think I'm good to start. Chowder's Cook Gamba, do you think I will get this cookie done in under 10 Oh, what? What the fuck? I clicked on an ad. <laughs> I thought it was the start button. Oopsie. Okay, let's get started. That was stupid. <laughs> okay. Okay, that was good. Oh, shit. I spilled icing on my shirt. <laughs> no. Have I ever tried using pipe bags? I haven't tried it in a long time. Because, um, my mom, she would have us do, like, a lot of cooking activities when we were younger. So, like, we decorated, like, a lot of cookies and cupcakes when we were little. But I haven't used a pipe bag in a long time. But I haven't decorated cupcakes, like, actually try hard. And actually tried attempting to decorate for a while. Okay, let's do blue. I'm gonna get this done in 10. Screw the doubters. I think the issue with this blue cookie is gonna be I don't have a lot of big blue pieces. So it's gonna be a lot of placement of these smaller sprinkles for this design. I think that I'm kind of looking forward to is from my sister's workplace, people will bring like potluck for people's birthdays. So like at least once a week, people will bring in like cookies or cupcakes. But I think for her birthday, I think I'm just gonna decorate like three dozen cookies like this and then she can bring them in. I think that'd be cute. I mean like I don't think I'll ever sell these because these are way too labor intensive to sell and make a profit. But I think it'd be something sweet for me to do. That's why like she usually is able to bring me home like a crumble cookie from work like once a month. Because <laughs> people like cater them for the workplace. Happy birthday, streamer sister. Her birthday's not for a while, so... I was gonna ask her about it today. I mean, I would make her pay me, of course! I'd be like, give me 50 bucks and I'll decorate cookies. And I'll do it on stream, that way I can get subs and bits, too. 
<laughs> but let's do wait we're at f nearly five minutes okay i'm not doing too bad on time but i think that'd be something fun to do okay i'm trying to think of what i can do next I'm thinking. So I, I don't I only have like six blue ovals left. Can you make me virtual cookies for my birthday? I mean, when's your birthday, Mac? We can def do calligraphy. I mean, we can make cookies in honor. Maybe? What we can do when the channel gets bigger is I will plan a cookie decorating stream and we can do like for Chatter's birthday and I could do like their initial on the cookie and I can decorate it super cute and then I'll be like oh my god happy late birthday so and so and we can just do like a big stream where we do that. I think that'd be fun. Or if people are like I want a dinosaur cookie. Something like that. Well, big 21 in February? Damn, that's a long way to go. <laughs> but uh, happy early birthday, Mac. Okay, I'm gonna add some white. going so fast once Christmas is here. Yeah, I feel like 2022 has flown by, like genuinely. And not in a good way. Okay, I'm gonna add these big circles. Okay, chatters, I have less than three minutes left. I have to actually speed run now. Didn't I say I was gonna ignore you guys on this cookie? <laughs> uh, oopsie. I guess I forgot. Oh, shit. <gasps> two minutes! Oh my god, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes. Okay, actually, sweet earning. One minute! One minute! I kinda want this year to be over with Lamau <laughs> I mean, I told chat this before, but September I'm gonna have like a lot of doctor's appointments, and probably October as well. So be kind to me. But hopefully in three or four months we'll have everything figured out, maybe get a diagnosis, so... 
I just want everything to be done. Okay, I don't think I really need to add anything else. But I'm just gonna add a few more pearls. Ah, oh, 20 seconds! Shit, uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no, I spent too much time talking. Chat literally distracted me. Oh no! Oh no! Oh shit, oh shit! I'm not looking at the timer, it's gonna freak me out. I'm not looking, I'm not looking, I'm not looking, I'm not looking. I'm not looking! Okay, I think I'm done. Oh, Rick. Damn. Well, I didn't. I'm sorry, believers. I got close. I got close. It's because there's too many pearls in this one. There we go, we got another one done. 1026. Pretty close to a PB. Wait, is that actually a PB? I don't like- this one's fine. I feel like the blue is a bit much. I think this would look better if, like, I used- If the colors were inversed. Like, if everything that was white was blue and everything that is blue is white, I think that'd look a lot better. But, still pretty cool. Still pretty solid. I'm sorry, believers. I'm sorry. Okay, let's do another one. How many cookies do we have left? I have two, four, six, eight. So, oh, fuck. We're like halfway through, which is fine. We're we're speed running today. Thank you guys for hanging out, though. I appreciate you guys. I heckin love the lurkers. Okay, let's get another prediction up under 10 minutes. I'm gonna- I'm gonna do it this time. I'm gonna do it. Okay, let's get the- wait, what color should I do this time? I kinda wanna do a pink one. Let's do another pink one. It does sound scary. It makes you feel old. Really? I'm more so excited. I don't worry about getting older. Like, you're still very young, Mac. Like, you have so much life to live. So don't worry about it. You'll be fine, hon. Oh, actually, I still need these pearls. You can't even buy canned whipped cream? Huh? What? How is that banned? What? Wait, is it because it's pressurized and it can be used, like, as a weapon? Is that what? Is that... That's the only reason why I can think. Like, legitimately. Like, not trolling. I've never heard that ban. I mean, I know in shops they have, like, detergent... Um, spray paint. They also have... Um, how would you call it? Family planning locked up as well? People snort the compressed air? What the fuck? <laughs> no, what? I, I literally have never heard that in my life. What the fuck? Dude, kids are crazy. Oh my god. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I'm speedrunning. I'm speedrunning. I'm speedrunning. Yeah, guys, do not look it up. That That's very bad. Do not do that. That is very bad. Okay, speed running. Oh my god, this was literally perfect. I screwed up that line. Fuck.
Okay, maybe I saved it? Come on. Dude, the icing was so good that I messed up. Dude, I almost had it. That was going to be a perfect icing run in under two minutes. Heck, okay, let's get to actually decorating. Okay, I think we're gonna have to buy a new ring light today. Like, it's not soft like ring. It's probably gonna burn out soon. Big Sag. Okay, I'm trying something different. Should do your times and stream like speed. I was gonna do that. I was gonna do that. <laughs> next step. Next month we'll do that. And then we'll title it "Speed Running Cookie Decorating" or some shit like that. My sub is going to run out this week. Well, you know what to do. You can hashtag sub for free with Prime. Or you can get a 30% discount if you subscribe for several months in a row and paying it once. Or you can give your Prime to me, your favorite streamer, Avi. my time at? I think it's at six minutes. Oh! Ooh, I'm at five minutes. I'm going quicker than I thought. Sorry, the glasses are clinking. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Subbing with Prime is the best option. Avi. Okay, chatters. If you're subscribed to people on Twitch, how many people are you subscribed to? I personally, I have a Twitch Turbo. So, if you know what that is, pog you. If you don't, look it up. Um... So I'm subscribed to, or I give Connor Eats Pants my Prime. I subscribe to Emmy Beef, Hassan, and then Cutie Cinderella. So I have 
technically three resubscriptions every month, and then my Twitch Turbo, and then a Prime. Just you? Aw, thank you. I mean, if you want to, like, or, I mean, like, in general, I mean, anybody, anybody. If you want to start watching other streams, like, if you want to start watching other Twitch content, I would highly recommend getting a Twitch Turbo subscription. Like I said, if you know, you know. And if you don't know, look it up. They're pretty cool. It's ba the best, um, analogy I can make is it's, it's like YouTube Premium, but on Twitch. Okay, what's my time at? Seven. You watch other people just to lurk? True. I do lurk in a lot of streams, but I don't subscribe. I only subscribe to somebody if I, like, I literally need to have their emotes. That, that to me is a big determining factor in order to subscribe to somebody. Because I think Hassan's Cutie, and Connor, I think they have the best emotes in terms of people who are, who have, like, big established channels. I think this one's almost done. YouTube Premium is too expensive? Really? I don't think it's that bad. I I have the YouTube family program, that's why. So I have like four people on my account. Okay, I got two minutes. What else can I add in two minutes? Hmm... I don't have any more pink ovals. Sad. It's also because this design isn't completely symm symmetrical. Kind of confusing. Okay, last two sprinkles. I think this one's done. Hey yo, nine minutes and four seconds. Guys, look at that. I did it. I got one done in ten minutes. Screw the doubters. Let's go, believers. Let's get a close up. I think this one was slightly more difficult because as you can see. It doesn't have quad lateral symmetry because the symmetry is here and then here. Like it doesn't fully reflect over the four axes or axis. How do you say axis? How do you say plural axis? I don't know. Somebody look it up. Anyway. But yeah, this one's cool. This almost, this shape looks like, you know, the balloon wiener dogs? If we had. <laughs> Kind of looks like that. <laughs> oh, what kind of cookies are these? These are regular shuki or shuki sugar cookies. That's what they had at the shop this week. Let's see, we got two, four, we got seven left. So we're a little over halfway done.
I was thinking it. It was just too rude to say. Wait, what did I say? No, wh what? Did I say something bad? Wait, what? <laughs> did I say something bad? Uh-oh. I have no idea what you're referring to. Oh, the balloon animal. No, how is that rude? That's literally not rude at all. But you're fine. <laughs> you're fine. That's that's cool. That's the glory of abstract art. You can see things that are not the intended design. Yeah, I, I genuinely thought I said something bad. I was like, did I say a, a slur? <laughs> Dude, I would never. Okay. I think I'm going to try this purple icing. It's slightly thicker. So it's not going to pull as much, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, let's go. It's like a... It's like Eeyore blue, but slightly purple. Okay, the hole is bigger on this nozzle, though. Okay, that was nearly perfect. Oh, it looks blue on camera. But in real life, it looks slightly more purple. I can promise you that. Okay, what should I do this time? Maybe I should have purple. I should save purple, because it's not... It doesn't really match. Because, see, it looks pink when on here, huh? I'll save it. Let's do white. White is right. Okay, I need to get more of these white sprinkles. Yeah, it is a pretty color. I guess it's more indigo than anything. <laughs> Guys, I'm trolling, I'm trolling. I know you can't see me, but I'm I'm Hispanic Asian. I'm Asian Hispanic. I'm trying to farm some what's in chat, okay? <laughs> you back to work? Okay. Put down the bigger pieces first.
Okay, the spaceship is pretty cool. Base shape. Wait, what? Oh, I almost placed it in the wrong spot. This ship is cool. I like this one a lot. It, it also stands out a lot because this is the only purple icing cookie we have. Hmm. This one looks yummy. Isn't it weird how, like, absurd colored food looks good? It reminds me of candy. Because if you think about it, there's very rarely ever purple or blue food occurring naturally. Okay, let's add some pearls. Okay, we'll see you later, Cokes. Hope you enjoy the rest of your holiday, and thank you for hanging out today. It's a pleasure as always. We'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> yeah, we're a little over halfway through, so we're getting through it. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Do I really need to add anything else? I think this design's pretty solid. Maybe just an extra point here to fill in some negative space. Okay, I think this one's done. I genuinely don't think I need to add anything else. Let's look at it. Let's get a close up. I think this one is my favorite. I think because it's the closest we're going to get to like a black and white design. And I think just black and white color palettes have so much contrast inherently. I, th I think this one's really pretty. And new PV guys, under 9 minutes. Maybe I'm just getting 
really good at decorating. I, I think it's like, I know for me, it usually takes me like an hour or two to like get into the groove of working on a project. So maybe I've hit that threshold. This one's beautiful. I think it's also because those white circles filled in a lot of space. This one's great. I'm proud of this one. I love that one. Thank you. I think this one is the best of the day. I don't think anything will beat. I, have I peaked? <laughs> it's giving galaxy. <laughs> A little bit, yeah. <laughs> Let's do another purple one. Maybe purple and green will look good. You know, like Rugrats vibes. Let's do purple and green. I think also I iced a little bit faster on that cookie because the nozzle is bigger. So I probably saved like 10 seconds too. Okay, let's do another one. Let's try and get one more done before the three hour mark. Okay. Dude, nearly perfect. You're hungry? Me too. It's about my lunchtime. I mean, it's only 1 p.m. I need to post a new TikTok. Wait, hold. Hold. I just rammed my nail into the desk. I didn't break it, but I shoved like some of the skin back. Oh my god. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm okay. What's your mom making? I'm fine. It doesn't hurt anymore. I did chip a lot of the polish off though. Big sad. Okay, the TikTok is uploading 96%. 97.99. It's up, chatters. Chatters, I just posted, I literally just posted a new TikTok. Go like it, go leave a comment. I appreciate it. Okay, back to the run. See, I was gonna do green this time. Well, I have like no green, literally no green. Hmm. Oh no. Oh, this is literally my last green, I think. Oh wait, I have one more. I have no more green. I have no more green. <laughs> Shit. Okay, let's do this pink then. Or it's purple, but it looks pink in comparison.
I need green pearls. I didn't get them out. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. I'm not prepared. The run ruined. Literally run ruined. I don't like how everything is focusing on everything but the cookie. There we go. That's a little bit better. Back to work. Oh, I forgot a pearl. take this now. I like the colors. Thank you. Maybe I'll have to try and get different colored icings for next month. Because I'm running out of white. Because I go through about one pack every stream. So basically one pack for basically nearly two dozen. Yeah, I think for next month I'll definitely get different colors. I'll have to get more, like, sprinkles as well. Like, the, the bigger sized ones, like the white we have here, and then the colored ovals. I'll have to get larger shapes. I'll just have to see what we have at the shop. I, I like to say shop now. <laughs> like, I think it's cool hearing different, like, regions, vernaculars, and words. I think shop is my new favorite. I also have teeny tiny green pearls as well. And I can get out. Okay, I'm kinda liking this color palette now. I wasn't gonna I wasn't feeling it, but I kinda like it now. Where else can I take this?
Okay, let's get those tiny pearls out. Do they match them? Not really. I don't think I'll break them up now because the green is not the right shade. It's more of like a bluey green. I kind of like the diamond shape where it's at. I don't think I need it to add anything else. Like, I was going to add, like, oval petals here, but I kind of like the diamond. I think this one's done. I need that cookie, too. I feel like you'd eat all the cookies I make. Okay, well, I think this one's good. I really like this diamond shape. I think it'd look cute if I used yellow. The way it kind of looked like a flower, maybe? There we go. This icing is really glossy, too. If we look at that. Okay, cool. Another cookie done. I love sugar cookies in the frosting. See, personally, I like a plain cookie. Like, I don't need icing. Unless it's like those Play-Doh looking ass cookies. I love those. As we're going, I'm putting the cookies into a container. They can't really see it. I, I can't zoom out. <laughs> um, but I'm putting them into a box so they don't get dry. We have five left. Oh my goodness. Five left. Okay. Plain burgers and plain cookies? Yeah, that's how I roll, okay? I don't like too many flavors. I have a baby palette. Let's do... Um, let's do one more purple one. No, oh, no. Oh, no. Dude, I had nearly a perfect line right there. Shed. Damn. You would get chicken tenders and fries. I mean... I mean... Now, if I go out to eat, I'll, I'll try and get something new every time I go out. I am looking forward to that poke, though. Because there's a poke place where my friend and I are going. So that is getting me through this week. You know, some people work for the weekend. I work for poke. Because we don't have any places near me. Where they have poke.
Okay, what color should I do now? I kind of want to do another white one. Drop the sprinkle. Yeah, that's cute. Looks like a little sun. Add some pearls now. I'm liking this one a lot. Wait, I didn't start the timer. Oopsie. <laughs> well, we're gonna get this one done in record time. <laughs> uh, shit. Hmm.
Oh, I'm putting the pearls in the wrong spot. Got a busy couple days on the stream is nice. Well, thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Mac. Yeah, I know the fall time is not my favorite part of favorite part of the year. I guess stressful starting out like a new school year, but I'm sure as with every year, people get adjusted fairly quickly. Okay, I think I'm gonna try something different because I already made the design off centered by accident. So I think I'm just going to add a bunch of these to fill in. Yeah, I agree. I love the atmosphere of fall. It's just all the new stuff is hard to get used to. Because I'm the type of person where, like, I need structure in my life. Because if I don't have a schedule and if I don't stick to it, I... Okay, I don't freak out because that's not very nice to say. But it, it keeps me, like, functioning. So when I stopped working last year and I lost that structure, it took me a long time... To like get on a schedule again. Oh shit, I broke the sprinkle. That's why like I think streaming has been good for me in the sense of it gives me something to do most every day. It also helps give me structure as well. That's a big reason why I typically will stream on my scheduled days and times. Because I kind of treat streaming like a job. Like, I know it's not nearly- Oh, shit, I broke another one. Like, I'd probably be better off if I did work. But I just can't handle it right now. Because these, like, stringy sprinkles, you know, these are the type where, like, they just dissipate in your mouth. I keep on breaking all of the sprinkles. Because I, I grip way too hard. Yeah, I agree. I think these are the best texture for sprinkles. You know, if I have an ice cream and I get harder sprinkles, it's not going to be a pleasurable experience.
And now I don't have any sprinkles that are long enough, so I gotta do pieces. Okay, the icing is just about set too, so I, I actually have to hurry now. Oh, this one's- this one's girly! Look at that one! You know what else you guys can look at? An ad, because we are three hours into stream, so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. But you can avoid the ad by subscribing for 4 dollars just $5, skip your coffee and get ad previewing all month long. Or, you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and get a free Prime sub every month. I mean, I hope everybody here is a sub anyway. Otherwise, Get some water, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. <laughs> Sorry. Wait, hold, 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 hold. In order for me to run an ad, I have to type in the command. It's command commercial and then the seconds. Instead of doing C-O-M-M, -M, I put C-O- Wait. Instead of C-O-M-M, -M, I put C-O-O-M, so I, I put commercial. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. Okay, I needed to stretch, but we're good. Back to work. Back to work. No more time off task. Okay, I think this one's done. The the timer's off by like five minutes, so oopsie. I like this one. I really like the center, but I'm just sad that it's off centered. But I think the the texture on the outside looks feathery, doesn't it? Wait, can you guys see like the rainbow chrome on the nails? A little bit. Sorry, anyway. <laughs> another cookie done I think we'll go back to white icing now because you know what is right we got four left we're in the final stretch the final hour hopefully okay Back to we're doing white icing this time. This one looks cool in the background though.
Okay, let's see what color now. Hmm. I think we'll do orange. Orangey. Sorry, I just realized I haven't talked for, like, five minutes. <laughs> Lebo. I'm just focusing. This one's looking pretty. It's pretty- it's, like, dainty, almost. Do I have orange pearls? Yes, I do! I- I accidentally sold my only pair of shoes. How- huh? How do you only have one pair? I think that's a you problem. Like, honestly. so much clothes in Animal Crossing because I buy things that I know I'll never wear but I just want to have them because I'm a hoarder. Bye. 
Oh, it's a different ver- oh, okay, it's a different game. I was like, what? Huh? Well, good job, Mac. It's your own doing. Oh, this orange is, like, too dark, though. Oh. It's fine. It's too late. It's fine if it's the orange is too dark. It's fine. My sister's gonna eat this cookie in, like, two seconds, so it doesn't even matter. doesn't even matter. Everything's pointless. I kind of like it. It's fine. It's just like too dark. <laughs> Don't say that I will spiral. I mean, honestly. I'm already pretty tired today. Because we did the yard work in the morning. I've been like super fatigued the past few weeks and it sucks. Like I can barely muster the energy to do like anything. But you know. No more chomping dumping. I'll be fine. I'm gonna see the doctor. I'll be fine. I do me Everything will be a okay. A thing that I am, like, battling with, though, is if I actually have, like, something diagnosable, like, should I share it? Because it's, like, I don't mind people being, like, body positive over, like, their image. I just don't like when disability is shed in a good light. I think it's not a healthy way to see it like i think it's weird when people say oh i'm proud to have this ailment i think it's it it's one of those things where it's like yes you should embrace it but i don't think it's something that should be like always shed in a good light there's so there's so much like hardship and negative things that happen to people who are just a bit who are disabled like, i think it's weird not weird. I think it's just unhealthy to an extent. I'm kind of glad you said that. Yeah, it's just like, like I said, I'm all for body positivity. I'm all for people embracing who they are, whether it be positive or negative things. It's just with a lot of those people who say I'm an activist, but it's not something that should be really advocated for like there's so much hardship when it comes to disability and being chronically ill like it should not be a positive thing people need to own up to the reality yeah because it's like it's it also brings up the issue of like the kids like faking things for attention i know it doesn't happen often but there's a few like hedge cases of it and Another thing is, like, if there is something wrong, I don't want people to think I'm shilling because I could possibly be disabled. That It's, like, it's such a big thing that I'm worried about. Because I think what happens is, 
When people identify so heavily with one part of their, I guess, humanity, you could say, it overshadows everything. Like, I have LGBTQIA tagged, but that's not my whole shtick. That, that's, that's the kind of way I see it. Like, I don't want to be known as this one thing. Like, what was it? Like I said, I think it's fine to have pride in your identity or your ailments, but I think it's weird to market yourself in that way. Like, I, I feel uncomfortable seeing people who have, for example, like cancer and stuff, and they're only talking about the positives. I think it's... It's not good. Yeah, I, I agree with you exactly, Matt. Because, like, for me, I live in a progressive state. A lot of policies will protect us. But you don't want... There are still bad people out there. There are still people who will hate crime you. But, I don't know. It's just something that I'm, like, grappling with. Hope I pray... I don't pray. I'm agnostic. But <laughs> I I hope that I'm okay. But I know something's wrong. It, it's something that it, it's hard to come to terms with. And especially when POC people are treated quote unquote like lesser in the medical field. Like I was reading this article that was saying okay I'm done with this cookie. This one's done. I was reading this article that was saying like Asian and black people are less likely to be diagnosed for cancer soon enough when compared to white people. But that's just because, like, prejudice and stigma is still present in basically every industry. And I think this one's cute. It's just hard to come to terms with because when I was initially seen by my primary care doctor, they were like, oh, you know, come back in three months, see if it gets better. But at that point... I've been experiencing symptoms since October of last year. And I went to the doctor in May. So at that point, I haven't been experiencing issues for nearly eight months. And it's been 11 months now and I haven't gotten better. So something is obviously wrong. And to think that other people are getting treatment sooner, being referred to specialists sooner, just how they look or who they are, is a harsh reality for a lot of POC. And it's stuff that you don't really realize until you experience it yourself. Because like you can read an article, you can read a statistic and be like, oh, that's just a number. But when you hear people's stories of the trauma, the hardships, and the prejudice they face on a typically daily basis. It's very eye-opening. So I think the best thing that anybody can do, anyone can do, is talk to your friends, talk to your family, talk to your classmates. Ask them about their experiences. And just educate yourself. When it comes to medical stuff, if you, if you have, if you notice any issues, document it, take pictures. Because in any medical setting, most people, you have to advocate for yourself. Because the doctors will always try to avoid diagnosing or referring you to people. And you don't want to miss anything before it's too late. I mean, I'm just talking about, like, N.A. healthcare. Because, <laughs> like, I've talked to people, and they're saying that, like, a lot of my symptoms are, like, some beginning symptoms people experience for MS. And that's hard to grapple with 
Because, like, I've brought it up to my doctor, and they were like, oh, you know, we can't refer you to a specialist or get scans done until it's been three months. And it's been three months, so that's what we're going to talk about this week. But even then, getting a referral to a specialist might not be covered by state insurance. Because I'm young. I just wish the American healthcare system was better. I hate how everything is for profit. It's actual... It's insane to me. I also think it's unfair how people's health insurance are associated with their work. Like, that's why a lot of people have to stay with their workplace, because that's where their insurance is. If you don't have a job, you don't have insurance. Or you have access to very limited services, rather. Anyway, let's do another cookie. Wait, I didn't start the timer again. Fuck. Oopsie. Well, let's just add it. We'll pretend to add two minutes. I think that's all I want to share. So that's why, like... I feel like streaming has brought a lot of happiness. In that sense. But it's hard not to think about those things all the time. So I think the best takeaway is... Just bear with me. Like, I'm doing the best I can. It's well that some employers can deny birth control, really? See? <laughs> it's... Uh, it's stupid. I hate how everything is set up like it, it sets people up for failure in so many degrees i heckin love america we learned about it in class okay i think i've heard that happening before but i have to look into that again see like i'm on that sweet sweet state insurance so basically, most little stuff is covered. But... Like, more specialized procedures aren't. Like, my parents... They got into that um, vehicular accident three years ago at this point. They were hit head-on by a drunk driver. And their medical bills were nearing 100k. It was bad. And insurance only covered like 20,000. So, kind of bad. And like, we're already going, we're at poverty income. We've been at poverty our whole lives. But it, it's sad to think that people will be denied help because they don't have coverage. It's such a scam. Yeah, it's, the only reason why it's set up this way is because it's for profit. Capitalism, am I right? Like, that's why my parents are like, Oh my god, you had a good stream. You got so many subs. I'm like, yeah, Pog you. And they always joke like, oh, you could help us pay the bills. Like, you know, our medical bills. I'm like, huh? But it's like... It, it's like one of those things that like always looms over you. And it's just like, damn. Why can't like the government take care of us more? Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with this one. Kinda looks like a baseball.
Is this Donkey Kong music? Let's see. Yep, it is Donkey Kong Country. You are right. Anyway, chatters, don't don't leak what I said, okay? No leaks, no narks. This is sub only secret stream. No narks. <laughs> Snitches get the punch. Yep. I think the way I try to conduct myself on just like a daily basis is I think it's important to be kind and respectful to anyone you come across. Yes, I do goof and gaff. Yes, I do joke. But I, I assume most chatters know I'm trolling. But I mean in terms of like strangers or like a anyone you interact with, especially online. Like, you don't know their hardships, you don't know what they're going through. So even if you feel like lashing out, or popping off at someone, or leaving a mean comment somewhere, I want everybody to think and reconsider. Because you don't know what will be the last grain of sand that'll tip the scale, you know? That's why, like, there's been a few times where, like, I'll get a few debate andies, in like comment sections or I'll see like a Twitter thread I'm like ah, I could insert a take here but I choose not to because if it's not productive then I think just shut the fuck up because I think time is so valuable like, yes, I do waste a lot of my time. I am a lazy individual, but I don't spend any of my time being hyper-negative or hyper-critical, typically. Or, like, engaging with people who just want to fight. Fight in the sense of, like, argue. That's why, like, I don't let stuff bother me, either. Like, <laughs> on Instagram, on my Clips account. Like, you know how our Twitch chat room, it's follower only, so people have to follow for 10 minutes to chat? On Instagram, I had to limit my comments to just followers to leave comments. And, like, sometimes I'll log in, and I'll get a comment, and I'll open it, and it'll be, like, something mean. But in order for them to leave the comment, they have to follow. So in my head, I'm like, they wasted the time. They followed, unfollowed. Just to, like, say something rude, I think it's genuinely so funny. Because, like, they're, they're literally just wasting their time. And it's so funny. To think they were that bothered to leave a mean comment. I mean, granted, it's not at a point, like, I'll get maybe one rude or offhand thing maybe once a week. Like, it's nothing crazy. I don't get hatred daily. Because that'd be a bit much. So thankfully, it's not bad. But I, I just think it's funny. Like I said, like, I think it brings up the point where, like, one negative content com comment usually won't bother people, but I think if you get, like, an onslaught of, like, tens, hundreds, or thousands of, like, negative comments every day, that's basically, like, imagine you're walking through the hallways in school, and it's a crowded hallway, and as you're walking past people, they're just, like, shitting on you, and, like, every single person, like, says something mean, and I think people who, like, leave those type of comments online, they don't realize that just because you're anonymous or you're online doesn't, like, lighten the weight of what you're saying. Okay, I'm trying to think of what else I can add here. It kind of looks like a turtle. Like, see, like, 
the head, the arms, and the body. So it's here they are. Just be nice to people. Just be nice. It's literally not hard. Peace, I do smile. <laughs> I think this one's done. I'm nice, Kappa. <laughs> sure. No, Mac. Mac is good chatter. Mac is the best chatter. Oh my god, I had to stretch. Oh, okay, this one's done. There you go. I think it kind of looks like a turtle. I like turtles. Okay, guys, we're on the final two. Final stretch. We'll probably get this done in like. I think we'll end the cookies at 4.06. 4.06, I think. Guys, should I be a philosopher? Because, not to be an egomaniac, but I think I have a lot of based takes. Should I become the new... Jordan Peterson? I forgot his name. I literally forgot his name. Should I be the new Jordan Peterson? <laughs> Dude, that go kind of crazy. Okay, speed running. Oh no. <laughs> no, but I'd be good. I'd be good. I'd be a good philosopher. What if I get famous and then I make a master class and it's just me saying super sexist things? <laughs> Isn't it kind of crazy how you see some woman promoting anti women's rights shit? It's insane to me. Rights for me, but not for thee. Okay, I had to stop. My hand's hurting. Those people are wild, yeah. I Republicans are so fun to watch sometimes. Because, like, I was watching Hassan react to the Trump rally the other night. And Donald Trump was like, Oh, the Democrats, they want abortions up until the ninth month. The last trimester, the, light, the right day. And they're killing babies after they are born. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, it, it's so, it's, it's bad that people are delusional enough to think that's reality, but it's funny. And like, a lot of the Republican women who are anti-abortion, like, they're probably like 60 and went through menopause like 15 years ago, so they can't even get fucking pregnant. Coney Barrett. <laughs> yeah, so... And then, the the thing I was tying into that, and then Trump was like, you know, some emotions are fine, you know, the good ones are good, but they're, the bad ones are really bad. <laughs> and, and <laughs> it's funny. Because... I know a lot of Republicans do separate themselves from Trump, but a lot of them heavily associate with him. 
So I'm eating a sprinkle. I wanted a little snack. Guys, should I be a political commentator? Would that go crazy? I don't think I'm educated enough, though, to be honest. Alleged mistresses. <laughs> Republicans are so funny. They're so funny. It's like, it writes for me, but not for thee. Exactly. I think another thing that really bothers me is that so much of politics is culture wars and a lot of dumb people boil issues down to aesthetics like the whole thing with Biden's speech where oh my god his satanic red lighting during this the what, what is it called speech of the union union address or some fucking shit like that and that's all they were hyper focusing on and it's like, even that's what Ben Shapiro's take was like, oh my god, satanic lighting. How dare he spend government money on this satanic red lighting. And it's like, you're taking away from the main issue at hand. Some people are just DUM. They don't look at... Because the issue with policy... They're not the issue. The main concern about policy, or politics, should be policy. Like, you should advocate for things that will protect you and your fellow community member. Not things that will limit what you can do. Or limit your access to things, rather, not what you can do. Americans are selfish. I agree. I agree. I've said this before, but one of my way too based is, or one of my way too based takes is, if your policies are belief, are rooted in inequality or not allowing everybody equal opportunity then you need to evaluate your values like if you're that self-centered enough to not care about your fellow neighbor then something's wrong with you Oh shit. Oh, I was supposed to make rice this morning. Break. Because we only have one serving of rice, so I have to make more. Break. Guys, I should be fired. There's a reason why I'm trying to be a streamer. You don't gotta do much, okay? <laughs> oh my god, too true, too true.
You know what I think my dream job would be that's unrelated to art? I think I would love to work at a flower shop and be a florist. One, it's very close to art in the sense of you arrange flowers, you take care of plants. And two, you get to write little love notes for people. I could use my calligraphy skills. And three, I think it'd be easy. Because um, my, we call her auntie, but it's my mom's friend in Hawaii. She has a, a lay shop. And it's been in her family for a while. So my mom worked there when she was a teen. Easy work. Easy work, okay? Because they don't even make the lays. Like, they outsource them from, like, local lay makers. And then they arrange bouquets and stuff. Easy. Like, I feel like flower shops are dead for the most part, unless for Valentine's, or if you have, like, high school graduation or weddings. Like, a flower shop seems super chill. I can send some to your mom. I mean, I could just bring them home, no delivery fee, right? <laughs> but I think a flower shop would be a fun job. But we don't have any in my area, I don't think. Because Washington... Nothing grows outside of summer, basically. But I know that a lot of um, flower shops rely on, like, greenhouse farms and stuff. Stinky Washington. Yeah, there's a lot of pros, but also several cons for Washington. I still think it's the best state. I am biased, but I still think it's the best. The reason why I was thinking about flower shops is because the K-drama I was watching last night, one of the, the guys, he works at a flower shop. And I was like, oh my god, that is so cute. I was like, I can do that. <laughs> Dude, like, imagine, imagine all my customer service skills I could use. Like, I am so charismatic, guys. I could swoon anybody. I, I, okay, I don't think that's what you're supposed to do at a flower shop, but... You're supposed to help people swoon others, rather. <laughs> BL, shut up. Shut up. Only the people at the starter stream should know that. Remember, no snitches. You're flooded. No, that's what good customer service is. You know, you gotta, like, lead them on a little bit. You gotta make them simp for you. Okay. Everybody who gets coffee. Everybody has a favorite barista, okay? And why are they your favorite? Because they're kind of flirty. I don't flirt with my customers. Well, if you want more tips, man, come on. Yeah, play with them a little bit. <laughs> I mean, by flirting, I mean I'm not vulgar or anything or not suggestive. I'm just nice. I, I think you have to, like, be able to carry conversation well. I'm lying, never mind. See? See, Mac? You thought you could lie. Nice try. Okay, this shape is really pretty. This one on the outside. Reminds me of Christmas. Yeah! I heckin' love Christmas because I got lots of presents 
Even though we weren't religious, we got a hundred bucks to spend on presents every year. And we would go to the store and because my parents early on told us that Santa, um, children close yours, that Santa might not be real. <laughs> and my parents would be like, you know, here's a hundred bucks Santa quote unquote gave us for you guys to spend this year. Go at it. So my sister and I, we would budget out. Oh, what the fuck? Wait, I think I fucked up. Wait, hold. Okay, it was off by like a millimeter. <laughs> Why would you say that? I told the kids to shut their ears, so it's their fault if they heard it. <sighs> oh, your parents would say the actual good shit was from them, and then the dog shit was from Santa? Dude, actually, big brain move. I'm gonna do that with my kids that I never have. <laughs> But that's actually a good idea. You know, just lie to your kids. Okay, I think... I messed up. I messed up. I really messed up. There we go. I had extra ghosts added. This one's really bad. I actually messed up really bad. It doesn't look as bad on cam, but I genuinely really messed up. Shame's making you hungry, that's the point. I stream, give Amazon money, and then you get hungry, you give store money. It's, it's an ongoing cycle that works, it's beneficial to everybody. Okay, this sprinkle, this one right here, these tiny wet pills are disgusting. They actually taste really bad. Like, they taste like eating dirt. They're actually really bad. Okay, I think this one's done. 16 minutes. Wait, did I say I'd be done at 4.06? Fuck. More like 4.16. That one's done. Look at that. I think the red is cute. I think this one would look really nice if the white was red. If it looked like a poinsettia, right? No way, they look so good, yeah. All these, all these pearl sprinkles do not taste good. They do not taste good. You know what else is not good? Ooh, watching ads on Twitch because, guys, we are four hours into stream, so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. If you're a non-sub pleb watching this, why, why don't you just subscribe? Then you can chat. Uh, anyway... After the break, we're gonna finish excuse me, our last cookie of the day. So get ready to spam I was here when we're done. Anyway, get some water, get a snack, and a we'll see you some of you guys in a few. I thought you were gonna say no. I I will never say that. I will never ever say that blasphemous word. You know, I was gonna block that phrase. I was gonna block it. Like, have automod clap people if they type that in the chat. But then I was like, if I just use the Twitch emote, then I just see the face and I don't get mad. I think it's the characters. Like, the letter U, letter W, letter U. That... <gasps> I 
I put this in the container and it wasn't set. But look, this one, this one was set. I'm genuinely sad because this one was my favorite one. Okay, since this one got absolutely fucking destroyed, I'm gonna make one just like it. Oh, that's sad. Is it possible to fix? No, do you see it? The icing literally slid. There's literally no saving it. Sorry, I'm mad. I'm really mad. Damn. Just push it. That's what I told your mom last night. Autumn. Wait, how would that even work? <laughs> okay, well, let's remake this catastrophe. I'm gonna leave. Okay, bye, Mac. People, bye. This is the last straw piece in underscore 17. I have been abused for far too long. My room is next to her room. Rut row. Wait, Mac. Oh, wait, never mind. Your sub badge is gone. Why is your sub badge gone? Look, look. Your sub badge is gone. Why is it gone? Did Mac unsubscribe? Huh? Was the joke actually that far? Sag. Okay, let's do the last cookie. <laughs> okay, last cookie. We're gonna remake after that reset. Maybe I just put too much icing to where I didn't allow adequate time for it to set. That was nearly a perfect icing. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Did you actually hide the badge? That was that was a good bit. I'm wait. Cuz I'm done with this channel. This is unforgivable. I'm not going to expose and cancel you. Wait. Huh? Oh, I'm now going to. Oh, okay, okay. I got confused. Sorry. I'm literally Putting the icing on my finger and just eating it because I'm hungry. But that was cool. I didn't know you could hide sub badges. <laughs> I'm gonna draw before. I wish auto mod could catch people who are drama farming. That'd be sick. Because honestly, honestly. Drama farming is so goddamn annoying. Like, people who come in, like, their first message of the day is just to, like, start an argument or debate. I haven't had anybody do it here. I don't think. And if so, I just didn't notice it. But I see it in his song stream all the time, and it... Like, it ruins the whole vibe, you know? Okay, we're gonna make sure it's perfect. Okay, this cookie is literally gonna be perfect. The icing is pooling elegantly. The only concern is that this cookie is like nearly a quarter of an inch smaller than all the other ones. So I'm kind of concerned I'm not gonna have enough surface area. It is a little bit alarming, a little bit concerning. But you know what my new favorite 7TV emote is? 
It's alarm. It's it's literally it's my favorite. <laughs> it's so obnoxious, but it's funny to me. Okay, I'm gonna eat another sprinkle. Whoa, you guys can hear it. Uh oh. Oopsie. Okay, I'm gonna eat another one. Guys, should I become an ASMR streamer? Just eat sprinkles into the mic all stream. I think that'd be funny. Like, I know a lot of people shit on ASMR streamers, but I think people can do whatever they want. As long as it's like, not like explicitly suggestive. Like, I think it's fine for the people to be wearing like crop tops or bikini tops. I think it's fine. Cause you know, that's just human anatomy. Another thing is, would somebody be getting as much suggestive comments if they didn't have a big chest? That's another thing that kind of bothers me. Like, you know, I'm not blessed with a big chest. But if I were, I feel like more people would like instantly itemize or sexualize me. And that's the harsh reality that a lot of women face. Just because that's how their anatomy is. Like, you know how you hear stories of, like, girls being dress coded at school because they're wearing, like, what would you call it? Like a V-neck shirt. Oh, and the only reason why they're getting dress coded is because they have a larger chest. I think that's wildly, like, unfair. Like, I had a friend get dress coded for that. And she had, like, very big chest. And you see, like, the skinny girls who basically wear, like, crop tops to school. And they're, that's totally fine. Well, wearing the same type of, like, v-neck shirt, and then they don't get coded. It's just unfair. Another thing I was thinking about, I, I posted a TikTok of a clip talking about this concept, but you'll see some wild stuff in some less than three viewer streams in the sense of people will do crazy things, they will overshare, but I feel like what I share, or like my ide I ideology that I do share, isn't too, I guess, I mean some of my thoughts are polarizing. I guess they are controversial. But they aren't, like, inherently hateful or bigoted, I don't think. Like, you see some wild takes in very small streams. But I still have the argument of no matter how many people are watching, no matter how many followers you have, you still have a responsibility to be a good influence. And a good role model to a capacity.
Yeah, I'm trying to see how I- Cause like, the design's slid enough to where I can't really tell what I did in the outer pattern. So it's like, I know I do share a little bit of personal stuff, but I don't overshare too much, I don't think. Because like we talked about earlier, whatever you put on the internet is basically there forever. Like, look, I was thinking about it, and some of my Stardew Valley streams, I didn't overshare, but there are some things that maybe I should have kept to myself, in the sense of, like, I've never leaked where I live, or... That type of shit. Because that'd be crazy. I'm not that actually dumb. But it, it's very easy to overshare or like ramble. When you feel like nobody's watching. I think that's the main thing. So I know Mac, you said you might want to stream in the future. And that's cool. But just be wary. Be cautious. Of what you say when you're just starting out. Like, you don't want to leak anything. And you don't want to share anything that you're going to regret sharing. I'll share everything. I mean, I feel like that'd be good content, but not good for your mental, you know? So I would not advocate for that, personally. I'm still annoyed at myself that I didn't make rice earlier. I think the reason why is because with our new rice cooker, um, when it's done, it just automatically defaults to keep warm. Meaning if you don't unplug it, it's going to stay on at full heat until you turn it off. So I know I would have forgotten to turn it off and I would have burned the rice. <laughs> Okay, I think this one's almost done. <laughs> I'm gonna add a few more pearls and then I think this one's good. Wait, I think I messed up. No, wait, saved. It's fine. Okay. Okay, I think everything is symmetrical. I think everything's correct. Maybe we can add a few more ghosts.
Is it bad that I've never seen a Ghostbusters movie? Is that bad? Am I uncultured? I haven't either. Okay, it's not just me. Because I haven't watched a lot of, like, the retro -y type films. Okay, I think this one's done, guys. Oh, this one's really pretty. This one actually looks surprisingly a lot better than the other version, right? <laughs> okay, we're gonna let this one fully set before we, like, let it down. There you go. It's our final cookie of the day. Speed run done. Um, uptime at 4.15. Pretty solid. Um, let's look through the cookies we made today, guys. So, I think we have a total of 15 because one did slide. Oh, see, I think it's this purple icing that's the problem. Okay, sorry. Because this one, I think it just, I just can't stack any other cookies on top of it. Because, see, that one slid a little bit. Hi, Wolf. Welcome in. Okay, so you have the red one. Wait, we're, did I miss anything? Uh, we're just about to end. But we do have the calligraphy journal because we did get a gifted today. Welcome in, hun. We're just going through all the cookies that we made today. <clears throat> cookies look nice. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so that's... Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Okay, I'm putting this like in and out of the container as I'm counting. Eleven. And twelve. And 13, 14, 15, this one did smear, sad. And then the last one. I think this one is my favorite. I really like the shape of the white sprinkles. But cool. Um, thank you to everybody who hung out today, everybody who chilled and chatted and lurkers too. Um, stream is not over yet, because number 12 is your favorite. Uh, which one was number 12? <laughs> oh, the red and white one? Okay, okay. I, I know that one. Okay. So, we did get a gifted sub, so we're gonna go ahead and switch gears to the Thinking Subs Calligraphy Journal. So, I have to clean up a little bit, and I'll get that cam set up for you guys, so. Hang tight. <clears throat> Okay. Oh my god, I can actually stretch. Everybody stand up and stretch. Oh my god. Oof. Well, thank you for your daming wolf. I appreciate that. You're on it. Okay, I think I'm gonna eat the messed up cookie. Very good.
I have to put the sprinkles away because I have everything laid out on my mini desk where the calligraphy is. So chat, keep holding, keep holding. Dude, I'm spilling all over my lap. Why am I not doing this on the plate? Hi, Emmy. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well today, hon. Yeah, everybody keep holding. I know you just came in. We just finished cookies, but I think this one is my favorite one. I'm gonna definitely need to get more icing for next month though like more color i think i want to do more colors i'll have to get more like chunky sprinkles as well because i feel like with the shapes i have now i'm kind of limited all right <laughs> guys keep holding keep holding hold the line i think the r slash place meta was one of my favorite on twitch like, it was fun stream hopping and seeing um, people do the r slash play stuff. I know Ludwig recently did his own. And that was cool to watch. Okay, the desk is now cleared. Oh my god, it's a wood table, not plastic? <laughs> hey yo! <laughs> Can't wait for next year, I know. Me too, I, it was a really good meta. Whoa. Hey, that's my mic. I didn't even use this goddamn funnel. I'm annoyed that it didn't work. The hole's too small. See, it's a little pinhole. Okay, let's hope I don't unplug anything. <clears throat> Keep holding. Piece I2 hold. What what can we make a piece I2 hold emote look like? It was funny watching the other countries take over, yeah. Okay, let's see if the cam works. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Oh, oopsie. <laughs> Camera. Oh, wait, the border's still there. Wait, keep holding. There we go. We'll just have it like this. You need an unless? What would that look like, though? Oh, wait, piece I do stop? Wait, piece I do stop could be hold. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. That could be hold. That actually worked perfectly, because it's like, halt. Okay, so this is yesterday's page. I still need to post this on Twitter. I did forget. Okay, so let's do Mac first, and then we'll do Wolf. Where's my pencil? I dropped my pencil behind my dresser the other day. And now that I need it... Uh... Oh no. Oh shit. Oh. Oh, it's right here, it's right here. It's near the front. You guys can't even see what I'm doing. <laughs> I have retrieved the pencil. I still haven't guide drew the guidelines yet. So two, four, from the top. Mm 
and then four in between. There we go, okay. So chat, I will write your name if you subbed here. Gift or use your channel points. We got two names for today. Okay, this pen is kind of busted, and I think it's solely because Mac donates to the channel all the time, so I use this pen all the time. I'm gonna have to swap it out soon. Wait, Chatters, what time is it? Three o'clock, okay. Dude, I'm so freaking excited for these shit camp streams, which are gonna start today at seven. I'm generally so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. I heckin' love Kitty Cinderella's content. Mac climb leaderboard. I know! Look at them! They're number two! Even though they're technically tied, but still number two. Kind of a scam. Also, how did stream go today, guys? Did you have a good time? Was it enjoyable for you? I know I had a good time. I like I like the art streams because I get to chill a bit. If chat likes it, we'll do a cookie decorating stream every month. As a bonus stream. I don't want to do it for a regular stream, I don't think. You enjoyed it? Thank you. I feel like Mac enjoys anything, whatever I do. Or every stream, no matter what I do. They might be gaslighting me, but they are here every day. So either Mac is like a dedicated hate watcher or a dedicated chatter. We'll never know. <laughs> Love mouth. It was good, I'm sure. Surely it was good. <laughs> okay, once again, thank you, Mac, for that gifted to the chat room. We got two gifts today, one from Mac and then one from Meg Esports. Oh my god. Okay, chat was last name of the day. If you want me to write your name, donate or use your channel points. Last name. We got Wolves R Us. Okay, Chatters, last call. The last name of the day. Oilers mod check. <laughs> I'm not gonna raid today because I. T Ooh, I'm not gonna raid during a sub only stream because that's cringe. Also, I don't think anybody's live. Anyway, it's, it is holiday. Yeah, nobody's live anyway, so no raid. Big Sag. Dude, I cannot wait, I cannot wait, I cannot wait until 7 p.m. I'm so excited. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and end here. Thank you to everybody who came to stream any chatter slickers. Once again, thank you, Mac, for that gifted to the chat room. We are getting close to Cult of the Lamb stream. But I will see you guys um, tomorrow. I do have a doctor's appointment in the morning, so stream hopefully will start at 11, if not probably noon or 11.30, so just bear with me. Because I have to walk to the goddamn office, and it sucks. Because the bus station is literally a block away from the office. So it's like, I might as well just walk there. Anyway, I'll be live tomorrow with Mario Kart, a fan favorite of the stream. So, once again, thank you everybody who hung out today, especially since it's a holiday. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. If you had to work today, hopefully you got that sweet time and a half. But, yeah. I know my sister's gonna like the cookies. I hope everyone enjoyed watching me decorate them. 
Um, as you guys know, sub only stream VODs will be unpublished. So if you want to see them, they will be on my VOD channel on YouTube in a few weeks. So go sub there. Even if you don't watch the VODs, just please subscribe to the VOD channel because um, I want that channel to be monetized because that would actually go crazy. Um, guys, we need a thousand subs. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I hope you guys, I hope you all have good days, and bye bye, bye bye.